Um, so I should have put call to order before six o'clock, but I didn't. Oh my God. I know, so fire me. Come on. Me. Okay, okay. I gotta do one of those public record request things. And yeah, I think you should. You never know what we're hiding. All right, so we're calling to order. Um, and for the record, because Jerome is recording this to post, we have an unforeseen problem here at the town hall where we have no net, we have no internet, we have no network. It's somehow crashed. So Cliff, um, our technology wizard, can't even get it to work, and he's going to contact um, the first person, John. Throw your trash in here, oh. because otherwise I'll get in trouble for people leaving trash here. <laughs> so. We're going to carry on just like in the old days when we didn't so have So what's that up there? there? That's just us. That's Rick's stuff. That oh, has. sorry. That's okay. Good. Um, all right, so okay. let's go. Let's get started. Rules of procedure. Um, we've kind of gone back and forth on this. I had made some comments to the document. I don't. I printed off of my copy. And do you have the other? Look at this. Is this? I have the markup, I think. I have the non marked up final that was the last, last day. This should be Denise's markup, I right, think. Right, and now it's too tiny to read. Oh, well, let me first do a quick thing here. I, I was reading yeah, everything. Yeah, I just want to do it. 50 W. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, that's better. better. Yep. Yeah, I can go bigger if you want. No. Well, a little bit bigger maybe. If it'll. There you go. There we go. Now we're rolling, huh? Thank you, Rick, for having all this stuff. All oh, right. So we started these back in um, March, and then we had um, you know Rick on come on board, and then we had Mark come on board. So they kind of, and then we had all this other stuff going on. So it kind of fell off the radar a little bit. And um, so I don't think there's any problem. And I have some comments on number two about identifying. Can you just scroll down here? Yeah, please. About ident identifying um, bodies to serve as oh, yes, liaisons. Yeah. Well, Central Vermont Solid Waste Management, we already have a board member that serves on that, so we don't need to worry about that one. And I guess my, and you saw my thoughts on this, that we're, we're a board and we make decisions as a board. Um, and all, I feel like all the board members should have input yeah. and not just have one board member investigating an issue reporting back to the board, and then we don't know what questions were asked, what answers were received, um, because everybody can interpret things or synthesize the information differently. So Mike, I would personally like to be able to see what questions are asked of the town attorney or whatever entity they're investigating, just because I might read it and interpret it differently or have more questions. So I would like to see us delegate items, not on an as-needed basis, because most of the stuff comes to the full board. So that's my thoughts. So let's go back. You're on paragraph what? Two. 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 Okay. I'm not sure. I mean, I. I agree with you, but I, I don't read this language otherwise. In other words, we identify if we want, like for example, you two were appointed as the liaisons to the to Curtis Pond. Right. And in fact, I'm going to ask you guys to come to a meeting mm -hmm. at some point so I can update you. But what I'm assuming is mm -hmm. going on is then at a certain point we come before the board with a report, and you guys will kind of like take the lead right. on what right. that is, right. and that the board 
has the right, I mean, all you are is unofficial. That is, you're just liaisons. Right. That's why a three is really key. You can't mm -hmm. represent the board. You can't right. vote for the board. Right. You can't do anything. You're just collecting information. They're right. just collecting information and doing and due diligence. And then, but before that even, I think any member of the board, whenever we delegate to somebody, it's up to us to say, you're the liaison, but we're going to want you to report back and tell us everything that was said or whatever, like you did the other day with Sharon. You said, mm -hmm. okay, Sharon, you talked to the city attorney, but I want to know everything that was said. I want to know what was said, what the questions were, what but the we issues were. But we didn't get that. Well, I thought her memo was pretty complete. Um, Not perfect, but pretty complete. But then we get that when she's here and we have the conversation with her. And right. If there's anything lacking, we, you know, we ask her to provide that. Yeah, I mean, I mean I, this is how we actually have always done it. Um, Cy Lamberton. He was, was on the select board forever, and he was our highway liaison. And when he left, Toby was on our select board, and he was our highway liaison. And that's how Toby became more expert. And when he left the select board, he's in our employ now as our highway liaison, essentially, and grant administrator um, in that regard. So it's really how we, I don't see this as limiting us. This is I think this a is tool. A, but but it says now. we shall. I think if, if we're going to do this, just as put May. I think it should say. Yeah, it should be May. May. I was going to talk right. about the shalls in here. This is not. This is a, not a rule. Yeah. No, it is a rule. It's the same a rule. Legal decision. Yeah. No, just put May. Right. I mean, we're going to want to deviate it's on some issues that take well, full attention. Yeah, the whole right. board is the, has to pay attention. Yeah. Right. What I object to is that we shall do this. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. change the shalls to Mays. I mean, it, it's silly because yeah, um, this is not a regulation. We because. You know, we could we could all vote to approve this, and then it's just an agreement between yeah. all of us. We're independently right. elected, and right. Mark could say tomorrow, you know, what, I'm not doing that anymore, and he could not do that. Mm -hmm. We can't bind any one of us. Well, and no, I don't so want no. us to get stuck with, well, you weren't supposed to talk to that committee or that committee chair because you're not the liaison. I'm not going. Right. I'm mm -hmm. not going to abide by that. And that's and not that's how. What it, I, that's, that's not how I read this. That's how I think it is meant to be interpreted. Well, it's not. This is meant, my understanding, this is meant to get work done outside of our meetings, so our meetings are two hours long. Right, right. it's time control. Um, and, but, you know, we'll see how it works, if it makes things, but that's kind of what is done anyway. But I think also it's up to you and all of us, <clears throat> when you delegate, sometimes, there's times when I delegate something in a meeting where I would say to Rick, this isn't my area, all I want to know is tell me how to vote. I don't want to know anything more because it's not my area of expertise. I trust you. But there are other areas where I might say, John, I don't, I'm just as cool as you are. Yeah. And, uh, or I may not know. So I, I need may to not learn. go along with it. I need to yeah. learn. You better yeah. teach me because I That's need to right. know everything. That's right. I just don't want to, right. I want to just want to make sure that it's not going to limit us to working with or talking to other boards, committees, commissions, staff. No, you people. can't. First, you can't bind any one member. I'm right. sorry, no, you can't. Like do in that. other words, that's the way I interpret yeah. it. Well, but you can't do it legally. Yeah, I know. But independently but elected. But I can see that, that becoming well, the, body the issue. May identify. There's always going to be issues. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I see it more. I mean, like ditch the shells. I'm sorry. I'm, I mean, just in conversations with Sharon, it's more like well, this I is think just about cleaning up time to. But I think there are going to be issues that we're all deeply involved with. It's, we're not going to be yeah. in this world. There always are things that are contentious. Mm -hmm. And then I think one way, what we might do is define, you know, if we, let's say if we do delegate this down. Like you you and define I, the extent doing, of the delegation. Well, we, you know, as far as what we can do is set some basic rules about what kind of information we record. We want to have backup. If people want to dig into some details, we want to probably have that archive that we want to have mm -hmm. some history information there about how we came up with recommendations mm -hmm. so that there's always something in that file four years from now somebody you know asks right. a question about how you came there and it's really good to be able to go back well and we have to do this in our work right and that's my and that's part of my point when i've asked if jim's being contacted let forward Send in your questions, 
he sends you his answers, and then please forward it to the rest of the board because, and that's a problem. For some well, we should have a folder. I, you know, you can let me finish. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, that. So that we can all see what was asked, what was answered, so that we're all on the, the paper trail. The paper trail. It's, it's, tra it's transparency. Because I might read one of Jim's answers differently than the yep. person who, somebody else who read it. And I might say, yep. well, that doesn't really make any sense or to you me. May, what about Or you may have a question with something he asserted or you know, stated, yeah, and, you, and, you, and, and the you, other representative, like, didn't or missed it. You know, it's. Right, but that's been met with objection. Yeah, well, the, this, that's this one is person. Where Jared's one person. Right. And, you know, this is why we're having a discussion. Yeah, good. yeah. Well, we we want to have that historical detail. Yeah, I we want to have that in a folder for all of these, pro you know, for these projects, like mm -hmm. we do, like for the board. Because you know, down five years from now, somebody, we have a new board member, a new board, mm -hmm. something comes up, and it does periodically. And you've got to, you can go back and retrace the thinking and the history, and you don't have to. Yeah. You're not guessing, and you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Right, and that's often see what's done. Because I know I've asked Jim questions before, and the same question will come up again, and I just and I go back and look at the email he yeah, did before, so we're not paying answer. him to do it again. Well, I do think communications with the city attorney are a special thing, and the town attorney are a special thing. Oh, we're innovation. <clears throat> a special thing, and we have to be careful with that. I mean, like, for example, <clears throat> Every time I've had a conversation with Jim, the town attorney, about the Curtis Pond Dam, I CC you guys. Yeah. Yeah. And if he doesn't CC you, I do. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but I don't CC you, I didn't CC Sharon, has made it clear. When you're ready to come back to me, that's when I want a full report. Well, when we do come back to you, I'll probably help. I'll write some full report that's got every last goddamn detail in it. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't, I don't think it's a good idea for one member of the council of the board to talk to the city attorney and have written correspondence without CCing at members. least the yeah. committee, yeah. if right. not right. everybody, because Jim doesn't represent one person. He represents, he represents the board. board. Right, exactly. And that's, and doesn't he and that's been my objection, and I've brought it up several times about, well, when you contact Jim, send it to me, oh, no, I'm not doing that. No, I, I talked to Sharon. If you're talking with Sharon, I talked to her on the phone the other day, and I asked her to provide all that correspondence. Now, she w had sketchy... Wi-Fi, and she sent me a text saying it doesn't look like it's on the agenda, so I know I'm mixing it up. Yeah, I'm mixing up the East Callis thing right, the East with Island. it, but um, so I think we all understand. We all yeah. agree with you and see this, and it's yeah. our understanding that this text, particularly item number three, and item number three is in a way the most important, right? Because there's where the potential abuse is. Mm -hmm. Well, there's, and there, this, it's... It's not someone who says, oh, John yeah. can't talk because Rick was the appointed person. No one's right. going to say right. that. It's more... It's convenient. It's, it's, it's it Rick saying, oh, I'm going to... I'm telling you the board will approve that, you know, and I'm representing the board, and that's the that's, problem. That is a problem. Right. Yeah, we right. never right. do that. We, yeah. we never but we you know what? do that. It, Right. It happens. Well, it would never it. happen here. No, we we throttle that person right. to be forewarned. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bring your neck guard. Mm -hmm. um, okay, this so this thing this, is yeah. overly broad too. I I understand what the the basic tenet is, but then the examples throws it sideways. Like the CB Center of Mont Solis Management District. That's the acronym. Well, CBS, just take out the example. That doesn't belong there. No, it uh, doesn't. They, they are actually. Our representative, in this case, is Bill Powell on well, the why backup. Why don't you just take off that? Right, but I just want to explain. Yeah. Um, and then we have a appointed representative to the Regional Planning Commission. That's moi. Wow. And that is independent of being on the select board. It's right. not a, someone who's tasked. Right. Mm -hmm. And those people do vote. I vote. Yeah. I don't check vote, in with the you, select board. If right. something was like really well, on the edge, I always do check in. Right. I do yeah. on that. but. You know, we vote on any number of things, plans, Williamstown, town plan. I don't say, oh, select board, what's your opinion? Right. Okay. Um, right. So I don't understand why we don't use So that doesn't belong. Can we I don't just understand, take it out? I don't understand why we don't use yeah, the Yeah, strip the, strip the example. 
I don't understand why we don't use the language that's in the handbook, which says, which I've got there a little bit lower than the yeah, handbook. Yeah. Committees and subcommittees. Occasionally, a select will appoint one of its members or a group to study and make re recommendations on a particular issue. All such committees and subcommittees are subject to the open meeting. I don't know why we don't just. Put well, that I think the issue is the occasionally, because I think what Sharon, agree with it or not, is pushing for that that it becomes. SOP, standard operating procedure, rather than uh, a unique circumstance that we right. do this. That she's trying to. I know what she's trying to do, and I don't and, disagree. And so if that's if you agree, then we got to st strike the occasionally if we use that language. I mean, it doesn't mean. But also, I'm a little thing. concerned about the open meeting. I mean, if there's a minority, if there's one person on the board who serves as a liaison to somebody, that's not sub doesn't that's make right. it subject to that's the right. open meeting law. Right. And in fact, isn't it only if oh, well, it's a it's majority? A, well, it's you have to have a quorum, and and even if you have a quorum of select board members there, we we take it real seriously because there's two opinions floating about. One is that if you have a quorum present in any meeting, yeah, whether or not you're making a decision or not, you should notice the, right. that uh -huh. meeting. Yeah, yeah. The other opinion is well, as long as you're not transacting any business of the select board, you know, if you go to the play. Anatomy, you you know, right. and we, can we say, it. boy, isn't Cal's a great place? We don't have to warn a meeting to make that statement. Rick seconds, Cal's is a great place, all in favor, you know. <laughs> we just went to the play and enjoyed the play and said, wow, what a wonderful community we have. But, I like the language that's there if we take out the examples and we put May. Yeah, me too. That's fine. Mm -hmm. um, well, I like the one from the league better. It doesn't matter. I'm a little <laughs> concerned about this open meeting stuff. Well, we would have to. And I, we could. Well, s committees of the select board. Right. Are that's different than what this is being proposed. This here. one is broader. This one allows us to appoint a liaison. This one, you know, one person. Right. We can have one person do it, or it, it's not so, necessarily. A so to differentiate, and to get a finer point on what you're saying, Mark. So if I look on number two in the second line. I talk about work group. So there's a Curtis Pond work group. That's not an official. Committee right. of the Select no. Board, where you know a warm meeting needs to happen, and it's we would attend we, right, it's at their invite. It's, it's well, but you just and, did, and we'd attend and provide information and, and exchange information. Um, committees of the Select Board, what what you're getting at here, Denise, in, in red, that's different. That those are actual bodies. They are an extension of this board. They're mm -hmm. um, they're an official entity, and they do need to warn. And that's. That's separate and aside. So I think two and yours, we can have both, but we need to parse it so that we understand the we need to distinguish between two concepts, I guess. So without having a computer available, so we're gonna mix the section about examples. Right. And we could insert a paragraph that says also the select board may appoint and then use the language that's here. Yeah, I think the, the body may annually identify a person. I don't even take say annually. Yeah, I don't like that annually. Just may identify a point person yeah. or a team to serve as liaisons. I don't body. like that idea of beginning it, first meeting of the- And then take out yeah. examples. Right. And, and then- I mean, and, I, and the reason I like occasionally is because some issue might come up it's not in this list, like the East Palace easement thing. Mm -hmm. That's kind of not in this list. And I don't think any one person. We don't want the list, please. We're stripping that out. No, I thought you were keeping No, no, no. Stripping the list out. All this is listed stuff. Examples include the body shall similarly identify a lead. But I don't even think we need a section in our rules to allow issues. one of us to. Say to one of us, will you investigate that further and report right. back? I, I, my problem with this is it's too formal. Really? I, I well, I, not after we clean it up. Right. We put May. We strike the examples, which are you doing that? Some ways you? are constraining. You can't. I was really. trying to. I was going to try to do this in here. Can you do it on yours? I can do it on mine, but it's not going to communicate. Mine's not. It doesn't seem to be. There's no Wi-Fi. Yeah, right. I've got, I had this open on my computer. And how is that, is, how is that communicating with that? I don't understand. It's linked through just through the Yeah, uh, but the problem is it's Google. Wi-Fi. It's a Google Doc, which means which it has requires, to go out and yeah. come back in. Yeah, I hate it's, it's, it's the network that's screwed up. Yeah. Yeah. So, this is Wi-Fi. 
I mean, you know, what we can do is we can strike the strike the second. So you got a handwritten. Strike the second sentence. Examples. That entire sentence. Um, the body. What about this sentence? The body shall similarly identify a lead for various items. That you can leave may, that, that, but then that, then strike the next set of examples. The, the body may similarly identify yeah. a lead for it, but then goes to the town, and then take out the whole examples to the end. Yeah. Okay. Well, That's I think the, I think when we're done with this between Mark and I, we can probably. Okay. Yeah. Then and then. Yeah. But then the question is, do we want a separate section that says? Uh, Occasionally, that no. Says I, I think a separate section. Maybe it's it would be the new three. Yeah. And we say committees and subcommittees of the select board. Of that's really important. Board. That's one of my. Right. Yeah. I've been fighting with, about that for 15 years here. Um, the select board may. They, they are basically the select board in lieu of the. the Right, and that's when we meeting. would advertise. Okay. Yeah, we have to. It's yeah. open meeting. Law, so right? we're delegating yeah. our authority to some group of people, yeah. right. individuals, to do things and make some decisions at some level, and then they bring it to us. So yeah. that, those need to be warned. Those. Okay, yeah. I've got. I've edited. I'm, I'm there. Okay. Okay. And then so what about this is going to be three, and then three is going to be four. four. Okay. 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 Um, because this is what sh what is missing for new people is not seeing what was there before. So that's why I put in some yeah, I, I wish they had led she used legislative, you know, format so I could see what was struck and what was added. Right. Yeah. Well this one number this four. The, 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 new, the new the new number Protract four mm -hmm. the new number four used to read where it says this is revised language mm -hmm. in the current rules of procedure. I'm not sure why town was the town yeah, was added. Town that we, we don't speak for the town. We, well, we do. So do we The need, board represents the town. We are the town representative. But so do we need... No single fine. member of the body shall have authority to represent the board. Do we need a town in there or town? It's, it, it's a clarifying. Thing, right? It's the same thing. Same thing in my mind. Yeah, it's, it's almost redundant. The board represents the town. You don't need to, but... And what about this sentence? Or unless the body has delegated authority broadly as part of its annual organizational meeting. We, we, might, we might do it outside of the annual meeting. Right, so I think we strike that well, sentence. Well, wait. Tell me more about this. The first sentence is, says we can appoint committees. Mm -hmm. The second sentence... Okay. The second sentence says... Second concept. Or the second concept is, or unless we delegated the order broadly as part of its annual organizing meeting. What is our annual organizing see, see, meeting? So the, the, after town meeting. It's the, town it's meeting? the first select board after town meeting where we appoint the chair and the vice chair. Right. And, but the problem with that is it seems to be hyper focused on the role of the chair as I read that. Mm -hmm. um, and I, well, it's, that's, it's, it's, that's, it's extra. We don't need it. We don't need it. And the problem with it is, um, it's, if we're going to give De Denise signature authority on a particular document in July, we can't do it. We got to wait till the next yeah, time. Okay. That's silly. Right. Okay. So we, we've we done that. An, an, so period after times. minutes. Yes. Okay. Great. All right. Yeah. Good. And strike the rest. Okay. Skipping down to t the what would be the new eleven. Well, let's go through. No, I had a question on number six. Have so these been no changed too? All these? I'm I'm confused about this format. We don't know what's changed. Okay. Okay. You got to work on sign language for me. I know. Number six. There is no limit to the number of times yeah. a member may speak to a question. A member may speak or make a motion without being recognized by the chair. Motions to close or limit debate will not be entertained. I don't know. Now, the member should be. Out of respect for the chair, I should be requesting the chair to speak. Now, I, Denise is less formal than that, but yeah. when things get heated, the chair needs to be able to clamp down on us and say, "No, no, no, no! You appointed me chair. This is my role, and you need to stifle John." Well, this is unusual. I, I, I was wondering if there's some history here because normally you do say, um, certainly when you when you talk to anybody outside of the board, yeah. let's say. We've had public 
public input. The, hear, the hearing, if you will, is closed. We bring it up to talk. I don't have to say through the chair. Right. I mean, we can just talk. Right, and that's what we usually but, do. But sometimes but, we, but, we've... But if I talk to right. anybody, this is just the formal rule. When I talk to anybody else, I would say... I mean, outside of the board. Outside of the board, through the chair, I'd like to ask so-and-so a question. I say, yeah, through the, the chair, and then you say, go ahead. Yeah, and we're, we're it not does that. give you the ability to say, no, enough. Right, but, you know, right. it's usually... I don't have a problem with people yeah. doing that. Denise might say, all right, Everyone has one more question. We got to move things along. to look at the clock. And, and that's why I do. And, that. and that, it's yeah. a respect thing. I don't know why we would appoint a chair if we're not going to respect her right to manage the meeting. Because it says it's contradictory language. Chair shall preserve order in a meeting. Right. Well, the most important thing mm -hmm. is to be able to manage us in our. I mean, remember when we had the memorial? Remember when we had the memorial hall meeting upstairs, and we had a packed room of people. Yeah. And. Yeah. I ran the meeting, yeah. the board members helped, mm -hmm. and it went really well. Mm -hmm. it, does. it went really, really well. well we what got is a lot of, is got there, a lot this of is good really, feedback. Yeah. So I don't know why. Six is, what? Six is, there's got to be some history here because this is a really unusual The history thing. is. I mean, if people feel strongly that. Yeah, but I mean, are we worried that there's going to be a motions to close or well, limit debate or all that kind of stuff? I don't think so. We never usually have that. Well, it's never usually a problem. I like that, not having that link. That last sentence, I like that last sentence, but that's never been a, no. something we've used. But this a member may speak or make a motion without being recognized. They have that right anyway. Right. That's, that's, I don't understand why you... That's because well, that's we're all individually elected. Although so. usually... I mean the chair. I mean usually if you have. I mean right now everybody's polite, but sometimes you have members of the board that are not so polite, and yeah. everybody's talking at once and people interrupt. Right. You have to have the ability as chair to say, just be quiet and let so and so finish. Right. And then he said, well I want to make a motion. Well hold on, then you can make your motion. You have to have. There has if to you be run some, an orderly meeting. Right. There has you, to be some way to manage. We we've, we've had. I know that's why I don't know. We've had a couple three highly controversial issues where the board was split and you know the third person the swing vote was moving this right. way and this way we didn't know and and the chair Denise had to manage that because it got heat hot well you know I'll say it right to the camera Scott Bassett when he was a select board member you saw Scott here the other day that was not atypical Scott's a great guy he's passionate and he contributes a lot to this town but that's how Scott rolls well, and, and if things will get hot, and the chair needs to be able to, and then I would get hot, and so the chair would settle us both down. Well, I guess my feeling important. is then I think that six limits the power of the chair a little too much, particularly yeah. that one sentence. I don't, I don't think we need that. Okay, so what are we crossing? I, I think it's, I Just think the, the member may make a motion without being recognized. I think that's a given. Right. I would argue that is. Each member's right, and a chair cannot block a motion. Right. Otherwise, they're blocking the member's right to be represented. So, right. and we never know, have although I know, I know Gay Simonton used to stop. <laughs> well, we're not the House of Representatives, yeah. but um, no, I think if that ever became a problem, then we revisit these rules of procedure, so which it says we can revisit at any time. Are we taking six out? Yes, yeah, strike six. So that fixes our number or numbering back. Yeah, because it says so seven becomes seven again. The chair shall preserve order in the meeting, honor each member of the board as an equal, by applying these rules. That's, that's fine. Me. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. I think that embraces the intent of six without. I really. I mean, I'm okay with some of what six is, but I'm not okay with. The second sentence, a member may speak or make a motion without being recognized by the chair. If, you, if that's the case, then how can the chair run an orderly it's meeting? It's a free-for-all then. Yeah. Well, no, a member can run, make a motion. Yeah. Well, no, yeah. eventually. Maybe you can't stop or... them, but you can say, we wait and let recognition. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but the, the chair can't, has no authority yeah. to do yeah. that. Well, then we've seen, too. I mean, it's like the, I mean, you see 
abuses both ways. I mean, certainly there have been places where there's been, not in the select board here, but I've seen it in education, you know, limiting debate and yeah, you know, yeah, in a big I way know. we ran into and so we've seen abuses right yeah, yeah, we have. Yeah, we have. But it hasn't happened here. No, that's no. we just have to think we have to think above us. It's like this is we're these are our rules. We don't operate that way. We have to we can't the idea is to set up rules. I think we do a good job. Right? Yeah, we do. I think Thanks. we do a great job. Okay, agendas. Next. So six is out. We're keeping ten. Okay. Each regular special edition agenda with a special item out of time, all right? Seven's good, right? Yeah. 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 Eight's so. good. Yeah. Nine's Seven, good. That's okay. Mine's obvious. Okay, D1. D1. You know, I go back and forth. Sometimes we have people you know, want time on the agenda. I don't think it hurts to have an idea so that if people want to attend, yeah. they don't have to be here for the whole meeting. Yeah. But even putting time limits on, the board members ask me to put times on. I don't like time limits. And it's it's ridiculous because you can't necessarily know yeah. what who's going to show up to talk about it, what the board wants to talk about. So I mean, you can I, I mean, having to put down update on continuance, it's continuance town highway seven eight o'clock, fifteen minutes, and then fifteen minutes later we're going to talk about. MOU for the fire department, it's really hard to know. I mean, last time Sharon Watt said that the East Callis easement issue, five minutes. And I knew there's no way that's going to take five minutes. Nothing takes five right. minutes. Well, then you shouldn't have put five minutes on the agenda. She was wrong. Well, I put it on there so that we, you could see that you can't, right. you can't necessarily well, well, I, judge. I kind of like time limits, I have to say. The reason I do, I don't like that you have to stick by them. Because for two reasons. One is I had prepared a lot of agendas as the chair of a board. And it really helps when you're planning out an agenda if you think, if you're forced to think, how long is this going to take really? And you put the time limits on and then you look and it doesn't add up. And then you say, oh, oh, oh then I got to cut next something meeting. next yeah. meeting. Yeah. That, so it's a planning matter, it's kind of nice. It also is a way for the chair, I don't think it's so important for anybody else. It's for the chair to see how are we doing. But that's right. what Denise well, does. But they're not they're not strict limits. Well, obviously we're, we're not going to cut our debate. Well, how you do it, I think I think it's how it's executed. And I like the idea right. of being able to say, okay, if it's a first time, you know, like a first discussion, we limit discussion. We don't have all the facts, but then we follow up with a then it becomes an agenda item on a later meeting. That's and right. And then it then we allocate the time necessary and it gives us a chance to request that we have the right information mm -hmm. on hand to make the decision that's not yeah. you know, well like that's, I know, that's I know a good for thing. instance when you guys come to the board on the East Callis stormwater project that's mm -hmm. not going to take 15 minutes right. there's going to that's going to be, be like a a half, that's going to yeah. be like a half an hour right, right. and you probably and I know have and a good it might idea. be 40 minutes and we're not have, when we have Pam come here and right. other staff come here and they need to we need to feed back in. That. We're not going to say, well, you guys have to come back again. No, right. we're not going to do that. No, no we're not going to do that. But that isn't what this is really talking about here, I think. There's, we go well, on. why don't you say recommended, specified recommended? Recommended I mean, time not, frames? It's not. That's a good all idea. it is is it, all it with, is. With that recommended, I like that. Not I recommended amount of time. Yeah. It's not as formal or as strict. No, it gives it's, us some it's flexibility. a planning, it's a yeah. planning device. Nothing right, and, that's, right. And, and I do put sometimes, you know, this is a little ad nauseum, putting all these times but, in. But it helps. I mean, like, I'm looking at the clock, and I'm thinking. Yeah, we got 20 we, minutes. We have 20 minutes. Right. Now, I know, well, if it goes over, it goes over. Too bad, but. Why, well, you know, this isn't a. The many discussions can go on for hours if right. you're not careful. Right, but we all. You get nowhere. But when I, but when the chair says, "Hey, you know, it's we've been yeah. talking about this for 30 minutes, and we have a lot more on the agenda. Are you yeah. ready to move on?" Yeah, that's that, exactly what you. We have to do, do that. Then that's yeah. when the rest of the board has to say, "Okay, yeah, yeah. I got yeah. it." Yeah. 
we got to move on. Yeah. Okay. I'm okay with it if it's just recommended. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, that sounds good. I like that. I don't understand too. So recommended, replace, and specified. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then number two, request for items on the agenda shall include the ask. This is a this is a Sharon thing. Um, In other words, she's saying. If people, if I ask you to put something on the agenda, yeah, what do you want? I have, what do I want? Right, it's going to be clear, and you got to have some of the backup information so we can digest that in advance, which is helpful. It, it is true I think that it's, it's um, I don't, I think we. But maybe we take out ask and explain it. Yeah, include, I think, I don't, yeah include the desired action or uh, indication that it's for information. So, but something you might call me and say, hey. Can you put this item on the agenda? I have never said no to right. an agenda mm -hmm. item, and I never will. Mm -hmm. um, and then, so I put it on. We find out it's a lot more involved than we thought. So then we put it on another agenda. That's right. That's and right. That that's seems like that works. Yeah, I don't that's know good. What the problem is. Well, I think that's what the prior thing says too, in, in kind of allotting time. I mean, here I think it's just poorly written too. I mean, request items on the agenda. Uh, when well, include we say, a deed, you know a, a clear a clear statement of what of the issue the request, and the basis for it. Yeah, and then any and background and supporting background materials. How about requests for items on the agenda should or can no well, not can should, should include the a statement of the action requested action requested or issue it. And the basis for that request. Or basis. And background and the basis for that request. Basis. Yeah. Including yeah. including yeah. and I like the idea of having including any background. basis of the request. Is that what yeah. we're hearing? Okay, between your notes and my notes, we should get this right. Should include a statement of the action requested and the basis for the request. And background and appropriate background materials. Just say background and materials. And background materials. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And and it should be provided several days ahead. That's so good. We, like, yeah. I mean, I think it's. This yeah. is all about giving you time, right? Yeah. We need to become educated. That, but that's that's what happens anyway. Some of this is just distilling down the writing when it's done every day. Okay. Number three, the point person for a topic shall determine whether an item is ready for board discussion. Well. Somebody might have been working on it for six months, and we might say, hey, what's going on? Yeah, yeah. Right. Again, get ditch, ditch the shell. I don't, know. I don't understand the purpose of that one, actually. I'm there's, a lot of, there's a lot of shells in here. Should? May. May. But I, I don't know. Why, why don't we just say the I don't, first I don't topic? Like, I don't like shall bring the item no, we don't want to and say provide shell. periodic updates to the board. Yeah. How about that? What? Shall provide periodic updates to the board, and as even as requested, and rec and, as requested, yeah. and and um, so what are we bring say? it to the board when it's ready or yeah. something the like that? The point person for a topic. I don't. We're going to take out the word will or yeah may, will or may determine whether an item is ready for the board. No, it's uh, because John's what suggesting is say sh should. Nah. What? I think the periodic up will provide, we'll provide, periodic provide, updates for provide periodic updates. Periodic updates. The word period is end that. I mean, I, I don't know what this is. Overly I, rigid. Me, I, I think yeah, it makes sense. Almost get rid of that one. But well, yeah, I think yeah. what it's, I would just get rid of it. I would. I think. But I, I think it should provide periodic updates to the board. Yeah. I think that. Actually, my guess is that the real intention here is negative. That is, the real intention here is negative. In other words, my guess from what I'm seeing, it, does Sharon write this? Yes. Is that what Sharon's worried about, which is perfectly legitimate, is she doesn't want half assed stuff that isn't ready for decision yeah, brought to the board. I agree. That, in other words, pre people just do information dumps mm -hmm. to the board. Oh, I want to talk about it. You right. know, yeah, when, and that. we don't have time for that. Right. So something has to be kind of like ready. Right. But that's what I think she was getting at here. I think that's probably true. But yeah, so the appointed the the point person 
um, who is a select board member, um, should make that determination whether they got all the information yet or not. If they're the liaison of other people. So we're working with the dam committee. We will say, yeah, it's not ready for prime time. Right. right. But eventually. It will be. It, it will be. And then we say, hey, guys, we think we're, they're close. So maybe we'll have a discussion. That, on right. Agenda. And it may be more than one discussion. Because yeah. we may have the discussion about the dam, for instance. Right. And Rick says, well, have you thought about this? And we'll be like, oh, gosh, no, we didn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a really good thought. Or there may be a time sensitive, maybe some new grant that we have to right. act on. So, what do you want to do? Okay, so we're going to say the point person for a topic should provide periodic updates to, to the, the board, board and, and, and leave it at that. Yeah, right. I think that's, I think that's good. That's uh, okay. All right. Eight agenda items for future meetings are captured at each meeting and notified with noted, noted with a specific date of follow up. You can't know. I mean, there is stuff that pops up in between meetings that... Where possible. Where possible. Yeah. Comma, where possible. Right. You know, there's a list here that I've yeah, always... Yeah, I know. You've that, always that, maintained always, it. So I've this is just... That. Yeah. So I don't know what the problem is. Well, it doesn't have to be a problem. It's just restating what you do. Yeah, this right. Is, this, this, is is our, this is not identifying problems. This is what we do. It's a procedure. what we do now. It's our procedure. Yeah. yeah. So... Agenda items, so yeah, this to me is it's, it's a little too formal. Do comma after follow up where possible or where practical or whatever. I mean, you, you just don't know what's going to come. That's where you put where possible and that yeah. covers that. Yeah, done. So, did you get that one? Yeah. Where possible? Okay. okay. And that was new language, just so you know. Okay. Five. At least 48 hours prior to me. Yeah, that's, that's that and that's that happens. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All business. Um, yep. Sometimes we take things out of order. Yeah, that's the thing. The, at the chair's discretion. At the chair, I'd say. Items may be taken out of order. If, if as facilitate as whatever. Can, that works. You know, where that where that is problematic is it's when we're doing hybrid here. meetings. Mm -hmm. Because then people are counting on something. If, yeah. If we're doing in person meetings, I am with you. We should be able to. You've got a lot of people waiting for it. Right, issue. and we've done that. Yeah, that's just being courteous. Today. It is. So I mean, today there's five agenda items. Maybe we can't cover because it, it does say, say any other adjustments. Right. I see. We any other? It. It's it's okay because it says the last All sentence. All business shall be conducted in the same order as it appears on the right. next agenda. Right. Yeah. Except that. Okay. Um, no additions or deletions yeah, from yeah, the agenda sure. shall be considered once. I mean, I don't know. This to me is just. Well, the, I, I think sure. it's right by It's the last sure. sentence takes care of. The last sentence is good. Yeah. Any other adjustments, for example, changing the order, postponing to may be made by a majority vote of the body. Right. So Why don't we say all business should yeah. generally be conducted? Yeah, because this is another shall. Why don't we say is? All business is generally conducted in these. That's what's going on. Okay, that's Except great. Except any addition, blah, 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 blah. Okay, but the one thing is the next sentence. Yeah. Uh, no additions shall be considered once the first act of yeah, business has that, been commenced. Can we just I haven't, that? is there something there I'm missing? No, because I've never had that as a problem. You see, the big problem is that somebody thinks, oh, well, they're going to get to it at 9, 8.30 yeah, and then it'll right. show up and it's yeah. done. But right. they don't show up, so they won't. I don't see how this protects them. Or you right. have a long conversation around some issue with that. Okay, I would well, strike yeah, it. I, I, think think the I think we. I, just, can we just get rid of that sentence? See, we're supposed. I think that piggy. Just FYI, I see that as piggybacking on you approve the agenda in the beginning of any meeting, right? And so the idea is to stick by the agenda we approve. But that's that's kind of what happened. I think that's not necessary. Yeah. Okay, so that sentence it. goes. All yeah. right. And then we're leaving the last one. Any yeah. other adjustments? Okay. Yeah. Or any adjustments. To, I would say to, you can take out the other probably. Just any adjustments okay. to the notice agenda. Yeah. That's I great. think we say maybe made by consensus of the body. Yeah. Well. Or a formal or, vote where yeah. necessary. Yeah. Okay. You got that? Are generally yeah. made by consensus. consensus of the body, but. Oh, no, like I can remember. Or by that. a formal majority vote where. Because I can think of times where you said. Where John has said, you know, can we talk about this 
later under other business or old yep. business. Yeah. That's yeah. Not a problem. Okay. All the time. So, yeah. I'm, it's, so what I have yeah. is it, right? yeah. any yeah. adjustment to the notice agenda, for example, changing the order of business, postponing or tabling actions, may be made by by consensus, consensus of the body or by majority vote if a vote is requested. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Okay. okay. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Meetings. Um, I think the bolded, I mean, it's impossible sometimes to conclude at nine. I don't know if we want to leave that in there because that means that we, because it says regular meetings shall take place on the we're second not, we're and fourth Monday. We're getting rid of shalls tonight, aren't we? Should, regular meetings should. will. May. Well, here's the thing. I, I yeah, think right. the beginning time is one thing and the ending right. time is another. It's hard so, to predict the ending. Right. right. So what if it said regular meetings shall take place on the second and fourth meeting of every month? Period. Period. Yeah. It's yeah. okay. Meetings go. shall commence at 7 p.m. Well, no, because sometimes it starts at 6. Like today. Yeah, well, the public portion of the meetings, does this it all be started at 7? This, this discussion is public. This is public. Oh, it's not an executive. We just, yeah. When we have a fat agenda and we're a special item like today, we well, then, extend it. Okay. I think you see, it should generally, well, then, should generally begin at 7 p.m., but maybe but may set by... Or is otherwise needed. required. Or is, or is, yeah, okay. Yeah. Meetings. But, but may be changed, but maybe yeah. altered. Meetings are generally held from 7 to 9 p.m. But maybe changed on an as needed basis, something like that. Mm -hmm. But maybe lengthened or shortened as on an as needed basis. I don't like saying Zoom proprietary. I, yeah. I know that's just How about, should we say virtual? Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Or where is that? Right at oh, the yeah, end of that month. Virtually. Or virtually. Okay, I have regular meetings shall take place on the second, fourth Monday of every month. Period. Period. Yeah. Uh, meetings shall commence, will commence at seven, no, meetings are, wait, 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 generally, wait a minute. No. Generally commence. Meetings are generally held from seven to nine p.m., but maybe but such times may be changed as on an as needed basis. Right. Right. And as posted, maybe, I, correct, because we don't change that. Actually, I guess we can. What? I mean, we do run long anyway. It does need to be posted if we no. run long. So, okay. Just, yeah. I mean, it would be great to always be done by nine, but yeah. that's a, it's a pipe, pipe dream. Well, it's okay to say, I like to say, are generally held from seven right. to nine. I yeah. mean, we're just making yeah. it clear yeah. that that's our goal. That's Special okay. meetings. Um, we just need to take out East Cal's general store for right now. Okay. And we're and we're posting instead at the East Cal's post office. Okay. Okay. All right. So is that is another location where it's said, isn't it? On um, number five, it said East Cal's general store. Yes, yeah, that now. shouldn't be there. That should East be the East Cal's post, post office. office. Okay. Yeah, right. Okay. Okay. Um, emergency meetings. Is that the same as special? No, emergency meetings. You don't even have to post an okay. agenda. It's just the question is, it has to be a true emergency, but right. that's, a, that's our discretion. It's our discretion. We can't right. use it. Okay. Like for instance, if this hurricane had hit and we had a yeah. big bunch of washouts, we would have to have an emergency yeah. meeting. Right. Yeah. I'm so glad we have to keep it around. Yeah, and I'm really glad that we oh, didn't have another another Irene come right yeah, after. Yeah, right. exactly. The only thing I changed was to say, change from public body to, to board. To the, yeah. And yeah. we could even just put in a select board. So okay. it's clear. Um, six. Body defined earlier. I'm seeing board and body. It should always say select board to me. I mean, is, are we saying it says Cal select board? Oh, the body or the board? They're both the, they're both defined under application. Okay. Be. That that works. Okay. okay. Um. Electronic 
or other means without being physically present. If a quorum. Yeah, I mean, during COVID, we had to do roll call for everything. I wouldn't believe that because if you can lose digitally, you don't have to lose mm -hmm. So I like that. I think this that's is good. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm good with it. And this is telling the chair how to run a meeting. Yeah, it looks good. Let me just look for a minute. We'll facilitate this generally using. Should we put it yeah, generally? generally? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Generally, okay. generally using the following format. Yeah. Presenter, right. invite the presenter to summarize, invite each member of the body, ask questions. Any questions? We ask if there are any questions or comments of the public in attendance, request the motion, invite further discussion, ask for a vote. And this is just this is really basically what we do now. Yeah, so. okay. okay, public participation. Yeah, all meetings of the body, our meetings of the our meetings in public, not yeah, of the public. Language. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think this is this was language we already had. Each meeting will be 50, there will be 15 minutes for public comment on items not on the agenda. No, this all goes back to making sure that there's time for somebody like Doug to say his piece at the beginning of a meeting. And what? That really, I gotta say, that really bothered me. You know, I don't think he should be able to talk twice. If he's going to talk about an item on the agenda, you tell him, wait your turn, and I'll recognize you and talk on the agenda. Why do we allow people to talk twice? Well, we do. Uh, after, I, after, we're supposed to do it after everyone's had their chance. That's what the use of No, says. no, I know. But I mean, I've often this. seen that people... You're talking about the public comment. But, but you know, the there's agenda. always a, a chance for the public to comment on items not on the agenda. Yep. That's the whole point. But items on the agenda, they get to talk when it's on the agenda. Right, right. and right. that's what we sort of did the last time when Doug had the issue with the animal I ordinance. I thought you actually said to him, didn't you? I did. Doug, yeah, we're going to we'll let you talk about yeah. this when we get to that item. Yeah. And so don't we want to say sure. at each meeting there will but be 15 minutes? Well, I'm trying to understand what's going on. Is this generally... For every item, we're limiting no. public comment to 15 minutes? No, 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 this, no. Is this, is at, this is at the beginning when we say public it's, comment it's for items on the agenda. So then it should, should it be for items not on the agenda. That's right. right. So, so we so do somebody that in can, the beginning. Right, because somebody can bring up an item yeah. and make a comment, and then we can say, let's, create a agenda item let's put, put this on a future meeting. agenda. So, yeah. and I don't know, Mark, if you were plugged in on when this all went down, there, was, uh, there were select boards around the state that allegedly the chairs set the agenda, so the citizen, the citizenry would bring an issue. The they, board. Say, sure. they didn't agree with it. Well, I set the agenda; it just never would come up. And the citizen would try to raise their hand. They're like, "Sorry, it's not on the agenda." So Jim Condo's got this bill through that requires it, and we actually saw some of this behavior locally. I'll leave it at that. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Board. And and Denise and I attended a meeting or two where we apprised the chair. Uh, actually. You're required to allow the public to comment. Okay. So, are you okay if we well. just say for items not on the agenda? Yeah, and I don't see why we. I think we take out the 15 minutes because what we're going to do is sit here for 15 minutes if nobody comments. Right. Up to. Well, we say up to 15 up to, minutes. Up to. Up to. Okay, that works. Okay. Um, okay. That's good language. Mm -hmm. if, and this is what Denise would say. Hey, look, that, this is a deep, deeper issue. We, Which one? You know, the, the second one, sentence on oh. the highlight items requiring more. But De Denise has done that. You know, you know, we're going to have to come back to this. Yeah, we got a right. full yeah, plate here, yes. guys. So I got your email. I'll circle back with you, and uh, and we'll dedicate more time to that. that right. You know, the example was Jan coming up and saying, just to let you know what the Planning Commission has got on its agenda, guys, here it is, blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. And you said, thanks, we'll put it on the whole agenda. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. And that works. give it the right time, the appropriate time. Right. Comment by public or members must be addressed to the chair or to the body as a whole, not to individual members. That's 
I think that's good, and that's that helps kind of, you. Right, that's kind of standard. Yeah, that language. helps you. And that's the current language that yeah. we have. Okay, okay. members good. of the building commission. This is, this um, is weird. I must be acknowledged by the chair before speaking, except during the 15 minutes. So what's going to happen if there's five people here they're talk and they're all talking at the same time? Okay. We need to be acknowledged by the chair. Right. That okay. Yeah. I think that am I being overly formal here? My feeling is when it comes, you say, okay, now we're going to consider item blank on the agenda. And then if there's a presenter, you know, staff or one of us, they do it. Then you say, does someone from the public want to talk? Right, right. on a particular item. On a particular yeah, item. And, we just, and, we recognize and you recognize them, them and they come up. Um, but my so, experience yeah. is, and then when they're talk, after they're talking, any one of us could ask them questions. Right. Sometimes mm -hmm. either we say through the through mm -hmm. Madam Chair That's or we right. don't. But we ask them questions. Right, we're not that formal. Okay. Then and only then, after everybody's talked, then the matter comes to us for discussion and decision where we get to talk and right. we're not constantly being interrupted. Being interrupted. So yeah. what I don't understand here is the chair will not acknowledge or invite comment from members of the public until all the members of the board have completed their comments and oh, their questions. I it, see. I don't know. It, it depends. You there know, are some depends. situations where they're bringing new information yeah, to us. Yeah, and we and want to ask we, questions. We're, we're learning. Yeah. But there are some agenda items that are ours, and the public came because they're concerned about the direction maybe we're heading, mm -hmm. or want to learn about why we're heading in that direction. But and but and this is, I think, SOP again. Denise will say, you know, the board needs to discuss this first. But of course, we'll we'll allow you guys to comment, and you'd want them to comment after they hear our discussion right. and become more fully informed as to what the the nature of that I item is. And we would definitely want to be able to direct questions at the public. Say something came up in a comment. Right. We didn't think about it. I want to be yeah. able to call on, say, elaborate for me. Yeah, can you I explain mean, what you mean? More detail. Yeah. Right. I mean, this, this anticipates one scenario. It doesn't anticipate the, the first scenario Mark laid out. I just think it's too rigid. It's very rigid. And unnecessary. I don't think it's necessary. This is not an issue in our meetings. How about just then leaving it at the first sentence? Yes. And take out the accept. Yeah. Right. Okay. And sometimes you have to play it by ear a little bit. You know, you have to make. Is yeah, there anything wrong with you five? Do. Really? You do. If a member of the public is going to talk, it. You know, that makes that's fine. Yeah. We're almost. We need to remember the uh, delay or interrupt proceedings. Blah blah blah. That's good. Neither members of the public of the body That's nor members of the public shall delay or interrupt proceedings of a piece of the meeting or interrupt the speaking members of the body. This is just yep. makes sense. Well, I think that was already in there. So, so. members mm -hmm. of the body shall obey the rules. Well, I'm writing or should I hear a following process? What? What process? Mm. Members of body, oh. members of to obey the orders of the presiding member. Does that mean the chair? I don't know what that means. You're presiding over the meeting, so that's you. Why don't we just say chair? Of the chair, yeah. The chair shall adhere the following process to restore order and decorum. And we may bypass any other steps where you should turn to the yeah, that's fine. Call the meeting to order. And it says yeah. the chair will enforce those time limits. Well, that's too. What am I going to do? Go around with a baseball bat? No, it doesn't say enforce. It just says, yes, oh, that's it. Yeah. I, I think um, as Why don't we just deemed see? appropriate, I right. mean, yeah. Mm. As deemed necessary. Yes. Declare our recess table, adjourn the meeting. To you, you're not going to remind us every meeting. Uh, okay, everybody, just so you know, you know, members, board members, we're following the rules of procedure. Every single meeting, you're going to do that? No, I'm not. No. <laughs> no. 
I think if you know, John gets a little bit out of control, then you say, John, you just approved these rules of procedure and now you're varying from them. Well, Come what do you want to do? Shape up, you know? <clears throat> we could say members of the body and members of the public shall obey the orders of the chair. The preside the chair, you could say, shall you know, use process to maintain order and decorum of the meeting, period, and right. just good. take sounds out the rest. That sounds good to me. Yeah, that sounds good. Write that down. <laughs> He's writing, I'm writing. Signing um, members shall maintain. Presiding shall, members. Shall what, utilize. What do you mean? Chair? Presiding? We're getting rid of the chair. The, cha the chair. The chair. Should it hear? Shall. Maintain the quorum, order and the order, order and decorum. Well, shall utilize. Uh, well, it's just like one meeting where I have to call a recess. Yeah, I, I remember. I just shall would, utilize yeah. the, their th their authority to yeah. Yeah. maintain and, if necessary, restore order and decorum. Yeah. Right. How about we? Yeah. You know, I'm, shall I'm utilize the their authority. To, to maintain, maintain, to, to maintain order. comma, and if necessary, re comma, restore, comma, order and decorum. Boom. That's it. Yeah. Period. Because this period. B is new. Let's delete everything. Because else. usually, we, usually, I think we're a board that wants to hear from the public. We do hear from the public. Right. Sometimes we have to cut off because of time. All right. But I don't want us to be a board that doesn't hear from the public. No. 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 Um, okay, so I guess we're... So B is getting struck? Yeah, everything yeah, is... It should be. Everything, everything, the list is getting struck. Oh, the list is good. So there's a period? Yeah, it just says there. members <laughs> of the body no. and members of the public. And, no, and we don't need the word remind. Shall obey the orders of the chair. The chair shall utilize their authority to maintain and restore order, if necessary, restore order and decorum of the meeting. Yeah. Of period. The meeting. Of the meeting. Period. Right. And the chair, Just and you know, they results. need some help from the other board You know, I think too. we better mm -hmm. produce the next version and bring it back. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think that's, and also, yeah. I have to say, really obviously, nice. Sharon, I assume she was somewhat responsible for some of this? Well, yeah, she this ought to be here when the vote happens. Yeah, no, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I was going to ask that. Yeah. It's really close now. This is we, really could close. we need to be able to explain to her why we made our changes? Right. Yeah, she'll do what's good at the meeting. Yeah. She may agree with us on everything. Or she might so. try to persuade us something else. Yeah, okay. that's right. Okay. So, moving on. Um, oh, wait. This, is, this whole thing's invalid because we took eight minutes longer. <laughs> right. We gotta start all you over. Want to see my yeah. What? No. <laughs> no. You remember, there's no, no. stop the language. So are these any good? Where are these things? What are they? They're cookies. They're just breakfast oh. cookies. Okay. Will okay. uh, so there be more uh, things that will be on this screen? This is the agenda. No, our Wi-Fi went down, so we can't. No. Well, oh, I'm, I'm hoping we can do this at the end of the meeting. This document. Oh, mm -hmm. it's just, uh, I'm sorry. Um, I... Okay, so we'll call the meeting to, we already called the meeting to order. Um, public comments for items not on the agenda. Sorry about that. I <coughs> grabbed the wrong document. Hello. Hi. Comment on items not on the agenda? Yeah, Lisa Wilson. Yep. Um, so, Have well, comments and questions. Because I'm not sure, because um, I've been on the political site for a while, but. Um, disappointed, obviously, that um, the Moscow Woods Road item is not on the agenda. The one question I have is, because your motion stated that it would be, I don't think it, I don't think the motion it did. It. Because I remember Sharon saying to you on Zoom, and maybe you didn't hear her, that this probably was going to take a while to resolve. Okay. No, she was going to come back with with uh, it said Mark Mahal. Okay. Made a motion to authorize Sharon Wynn Fannin to talk to the town attorney and report back to the board, bringing a recommendation for action at our next meeting. 
Denise Wheeler second the motion, which was voted and passed unanimously. Right, but we aren't ready to take this up at this meeting. Sharon's not even here, and she's the person that was the lead on this. So if any of the rest of us have questions or comments, I know, but I'm just wondering why there wasn't even a discussion because she did say that she passed along information and spoke to somebody to give them some. You didn't? Was it you, Mark? Yeah, that she spoke no, to. No, she she wrote a report. She, so she submitted to us. She's talked to John. She talked to me. It's not on the agenda. I do. Want to, should we talk about this? No, I think. My question sure. is, I don't know because yeah, I told I, the buyers that there would be something coming and I didn't expect it necessarily to be a resolution, but right. something. I don't know if I need to do more Can they, something. Okay, I keep trying to say something and you keep interrupting, so could I finish? It's not on the agenda tonight because Sharon is the one who took the lead on this. We can read what she wrote, but I would like to have her here in case we have questions. I spoke to you. I emailed with you and said we could consider doing a special meeting, and that's what we're going to decide tonight, if we can do a special meeting to take up this issue. I'm going to see what board members have available. I think mm -hmm. Thursday night, we'll make it work. Um, you said you were available and mm -hmm. you're available, mm -hmm. so we'll do a special meeting, or we can continue this one. No, I guess we, whatever you want. So we'll do it Thursday night. This and, Thursday. Right, and this is what I was going to ask the board, and I sent you an email saying I would ask the board about doing a special meeting. And she yes. can be she can be here then, so I can come to no, the meeting. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, Sharon will not be in town for that. No, meeting. she will. Oh, she's gonna come to a special meeting? Yeah. Okay, because when her automatic email email replied to me was that she was gone or she was on vacation until I think the seventh. Oh. Yeah, she, but I think she said she what did she tell you? Well, I don't I don't remember her saying what she Well we can still take it. We, we can still take it up. We can still I mean, take it up, but we might have questions of the person who did the research. So and we're, we're gonna we want to have questions as yeah. to what came so, back so, to the so, research. So so we're we're gonna wanna have our attorney here too. I do. Yeah. Um, because I have a number of questions just procedurally because there, there's a a conveyance of property rights, right? Uh, of, of the town's Ownership, right? And Not the town ownership. What the it's town doing. owns a piece of land. Right. That's what your the buyer's attorney has informed us, and that's what Sharon has confirmed with our attorney. Yep. And so we own a piece of land. If we're going to convey rights, i.e., an easement formally, I mean, and any of us who have the least bit familiar with Vermont law, if you went to court or the 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 prospective buyer would have just buy it and went to court, they would have a right to that easement forever because it's been used for a hundred years, more than nine years. So, but they're taking issue with this. Um, and so we have to follow procedure. I think um, there's a 30 day notice. Yeah. I mean, that's what I discussed. 30 day notice of what? To, we if we're gonna to take an action sure. to convey a property interest. Okay. And. So it's another, not the attorneys per se, it's the title insurance company yeah. who's saying that they want to insure right. the title unless right. there's something in there. Not surprising. But so it's really a more of a... I don't want to, if we're going to meet and talk about this on Thursday night, we're going to need to see, first of all, I don't want you to, you know, be completely set that it's Thursday night. So we have to line up the town attorney to see if he's available. If he's not available, then we'll have to change it. So I'll keep you posted on what the outcome of the, his availability is. Right now, mm -hmm. tonight, we have no internet. It's something that crashed and we, so we can't do Zoom. Right. So, and he's probably gonna wanna be on via Zoom rather than driving here from Peachum. So there's some logistical stuff we gotta work out, but we will try our best to do this Thursday night to help you out. We could do them on the phone too. We could do them like on the phone. Like the old days. Yeah, like the old days, conference call, that's true. But you should know that there's as I understand it, and I don't know the exact provision, it, it's a two-part thing. So let's say on Thursday, let's just say everything comes together and we vote something. Then we have to wait 30 days before we actually this. do it. So it'll be 30 days from the next day. Yeah. Right. So that's one reason why we're inclined to, to go the extra mile of Oh, excuse me, I mean, have a special, meeting, a, a special meeting because there's already 30 days. So. Right. Right. And yes, time is of the essence because um, yeah. we've been creeping along. Um, is, is this something, well, like I said, I don't want to 
keep talking about this if we're going to meet because yeah. we'll right. have all these questions. So does a special meeting not need to be warned then? No, I'll warn it. We can 24 hours. 24 hours. Yeah, okay. it's 24 hours. Yeah. All right, and I'm going to... Should I assume that that would probably be at seven o'clock at night? Or yeah, unless the board wants to. It's not no. up to me totally. It's up to the board. Do you want to do it earlier? Whatever, what time no, do do? Seven, seven o'clock. I'd seven. like to. I I had exactly nine minutes to have dinner tonight. I'd like. This to. is dinner. This, this is, is dinner. dinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's dessert. This is a select board dinner here. <laughs> so, the town attorney is going to be invited. Mm -hmm. Sharon will most likely maybe be here with the information that she has. You have more questions for the town attorney. Right. Um, so you may not, there may not be a final decision Thursday night if we have more questions and the town attorney has to go back and do some more research. Right. And, and so just so you know, I talked to Sharon on the phone. Um, options are conveying the easement, and that's all you're requesting. Um, another option is down the road, we convey the land, our, our property interest in total to the adjacent landowners. Um, right. And we, can, we should have, a, that's down the road, that's okay. we should have a, a All larger discussion now, about right. that. If something we're to do that. satisfy the title insurance. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, which is just something saying yes, they can pass over that yep. land. Yeah. And then okay. yeah, to clear it up for future. Because is this a title insurance company operating out of Vermont, or are they from? I don't like, know where they. I I don't know anything about title okay. insurance companies. I used to sell real estate, but that's the attorneys. You know. I don't know how many title yeah. insurance companies there are. I think typically, an a uh, real estate attorney has a title company they work with. Probably have more than one or not. Um, just uh, you know, just something for you to think about. I don't. It's not my business to suggest how you do things, but we do have several different options that have been laid out. Yeah, four. Right? And you th might want to have somebody, if it's not you, at the meeting who could actually say that's acceptable to us or well, that's not. Attorney, yeah, that's yeah, that's right. acceptable yeah, you might or want that's point. not. Yeah, you might want to Or because if we actually try to wrap this up. You don't right. want to put yourself in a situation where you're saying, well, I don't know, I have right. to check with it. I or it sounds good when they say I'm no. Hoping, <laughs> I don't know when you can get a hold of the town attorney to I will try. I'll try to get a hold of him tomorrow. Um, because then I would have to go yeah, yeah. over that a lot, right. too. If you had the internet working, then you could do that. <coughs> but, well, we can always hope, right? Uh, you can hope, but yeah, internet is internet. Okay. So I do have just this for you guys, because I don't know if you're... Um, I don't know if you want pictures of exactly what I'm talking about, what the green space is. Yeah, mm -hmm. that'd be great. Mm -hmm. You have yeah. enough for all of us? Of course. Well, thank you. Awesome. That's um, where, the, where the real estate sign is, <laughs> is on the town property. So, this is so, so if you, you look from this one here, this all this green belongs mm -hmm. to the town. Mm -hmm. It's been maintained by my family and Seaver for all of eternity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All of eternity. But, and then this is standing, that's the real estate sign, so I'm standing on the town, kind of where the town trail is, looking back oh, across, yeah. mm -hmm. potentially mm -hmm. my yard and Seaver's yard. So all that green mm -hmm. that you see that's town. Between that town. sign and the road? Holy Correct. smokes. Which is why it's an issue hey, for the title you know, insurance company. Gosh, I don't know. And then this is a copy of the, the survey yeah. map that my Let parents put a sand pit right there. So this is the driveways. <laughs> this is the town. Asphalt dump. <laughs> okay, this is helpful. Thank you. This Thank is you. That the driveway. Yeah, this, this is really is the helpful. Town parcels, the green. Just look for the next one. Yeah. I'll even put driveway. That's yeah, there's like that's my house. house. Mark yeah. one, two. I don't think I have that map. I've got it right here. But yeah. I thought it was in the yeah, who's driveway. Is it attached to this the is not the picture no. for my house. No, the Seavers house. I don't have the map with the photos. Yeah. We each have our own. And this is you, Lisa. That's yes. If it was, you know, six feet of whatever, it wouldn't be. Did you get a map? No, I didn't. So I can write it. So the. This is my house. This is yep. the green. Yep. Yep. That's the shared. We both go on this part. This goes to my garage. This goes to yep. Seaver's house. Okay. Thank you Thank so you, much. Thank you, Lisa. Yeah, thanks. And I'll get back to you hopefully tomorrow if the town attorney 
you know, answers me right off. Yep. And if we have to do a different, I mean, if it has to be earlier, it'll probably if it won't be earlier. It'll probably be a different day if he's not available. Well, I'm just wondering, attorneys. I don't know how yeah, I know. flexible they are to come to an evening. Is it oh, possible? Yes, he does. Our, our, he does. Our okay. Yeah, really he's a That's what he does. That's what he does. Yeah. All right, and. All right. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate this. Quick question: Is is your mom no longer with us too? No. She, yeah, she's no longer with us. Twenty seventeen. Oh. She had moved down to uh, Heaton Woods, which is why I'm in her house oh. now. But yeah. Oh, I love your that. parents. They were the best. Yes, they were. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right. Okay. So we're going to move along then. Thank you for coming and bringing Thanks. these documents. They're yep. really helpful. Perfect. Thank you. See, See you yeah. on Thursday. Okay. Okay. Additions or changes to the agenda? Um, none. The warrants, John, warrants for signing. Yep. Marks signed. They're in the envelope. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Jay, Jay might have been going to try to come in by. Um, no, hey, he Jeremy. Was zoom. <laughs> you want to sit? Clerk, sir. Bring it. Bring up a chair. There's one right here. Uh oh, sorry. Um, COVID. You know, COVID is back. In case anybody was surprised that it's back. What's that? I don't think we were predicting that it would be back a year ago. We were saying it's never right. going away. So I attended um, a meeting on over Zoom on last Thursday. It was a municipal and first responder update. There was people from um, from different agencies to talk about it. And BLCT was there, and I asked whether or not there would be a consideration of going back to being able to have all remote. Because right now, the way everything reads, we have to have some person here doing Zoom if we, go, if we want to continue to say we're going to do hybrids, and we could say we're not going to do hybrids, that's another option. Um, so was that all remote done by the legislative act, or was that the emergency order? It was by the, the emergency governor. order by the governor. He doesn't have the authority right now, they're saying, or he's saying. Right. And those, if, he claim, if he were to say an emergency order again, which it doesn't sound like he's going to, mm -hmm. then the legislature could say, okay, we're not going to do any in person meetings which is what happened. And actually they worked pretty well. I thought we were able to get, move things along better when everything was remote. Um, but it's nice to still be able to, to see people in person. Mm -hmm. So the, so I just wanted to give you an update that it's back. Um, businesses and private events are the source of the spread and now school is gonna be the source of the spread with the younger kids. I'm just reading from my notes. Um, oh. Local masks mandates can be implemented, and this is where I wanted you to weigh in on. Um, at the town office, you're requiring appointments, and people come in, do they have to be masked? They are masked, <coughs> excuse me. I am requesting that people mask. I'm not overly interested in asking people whether they've been vaccinated or opening up that whole can of worms, but when members of the public come in, I toss on a mask. Most of them have masks on, so it's really not been an issue. Do you have a sign-up mask encouraged? Requested, yep. Um, and whether you're vaccinated or not, because as we know, uh, people who are vaccinated are also spreading this because right. they have no symptoms, just like it's been from the beginning. Right. I guess this one's even more aggressive. Right. So it's really been um, you know, conversations with uh, community members and just if people don't want to wear a mask, that's fine. The majority of business that people are doing in the town office is two to five minutes of FaceTime because they're paying their taxes, they're you know dropping something off, they're getting their dog tag. What about researchers? <clears throat> they're um, wearing masks primarily, and um, given that there's only one allowed in the vault at a time, mm -hmm. The listers aren't in the building, the treasurer's not in the building, it's usually just me and a researcher, maybe there's one lister, so it really hasn't been, been an issue. Okay. Um, and most town member, townspeople, um, not everybody um, 
has heard or has you know been informed that we're doing appointment only, nine times out of ten they walk up to the counter and I'm like, hey, I don't have an appointment. Great, come on back or let's do whatever you're doing. And right. there's been maybe one or two situations where I just seem like there's a lot of people in the building and I just politely asked, did you mind? Waiting outside. While we're processing this tax payment and getting your receipt ready, just give you know, give us a couple seconds and we'll be right outside. I thought that the tax thing said if you wanted a receipt, you had to disclose or return something yes. in the envelope. Yeah. It did. But some people, people show up, they want to pay their taxes, they want a receipt. Like yeah. I'm not, some people are like, I'm not leaving a check. Right. I mean, because the reality is your receipt is okay. the money flowing from your account to our right. account or whatever, right? right? So right. it's the not check. really, the, the receipt's not really relevant if there's no right. corresponding. If doing, right, if they're doing a check, yeah. then their check is their receipt. But people feel better and some people just okay. don't want to drop anything in a drop box and that's fine. We're trying to be um, okay. as customer service oriented in terms of just like working with people where they're at and making sure that everybody feels okay. good. We're happy that they're coming to pay their taxes, so that's wonderful. Yeah, we want we'll to do whatever. We want them to pay their taxes. Makes you happy, now. we'll work with you. Right, so. right, no, that's great. Yep. Um, and they, they said that the SEOC is monitoring the situation and they're partially activated and they'll go back to full activation if necessary. But it doesn't sound like the governor is going to do any kind of executive order like he did before. Um, what else? That was, that's about it, I guess. I did have a long conversation with Jake Hopping. Yeah, and I think he was going to try to be on Zoom tonight. Right. And of course, we can't do Zoom because we don't have the internet. Yeah. So I know obviously we wouldn't want to speak for him, but we did have a long conversation. Yeah. He encouraged toss on the mask. You know, it's just right. it's a pretty low bar to just do, do what little we can to try to not encourage spread. And we're right. at the office itself is a place where people from the community show up. People are driving around the country looking at all the covered bridges and show up because they're lost and there's no internet, there's mm -hmm. no cell. So we get people from right. outside of town coming in. It's right now, honestly. You guys, people at the town office are comfortable. Yeah. Okay. And. Like I said, we can't go back to fully remote meetings until the go unless the governor issues an executive order, but we don't have to do remote. I mean, we don't have to do hybrids. Mm -hmm. That was something we chose to try, and it's proving to be really a challenge. And there's an item later on on the agenda where we can get into that more, but I just wanted okay. to give you that update that I what's going on. Um, all right, so town office, you had some big news you wanted to update yep. us on? So, thanks for having me. Good to see you guys in person again. Um, did you try to do Zoom and got a message? No, I was over at the office and then I was communicating with Katie and she was like, internet's out. And I said, I'll just do it the old fashioned way and right. walk down there, <laughs> drive down there. And so okay. here we are. Um, so a couple things, storage container update. Um, I do, I wanted to just publicly thank John McCullough, Bill Davis, and Toby Talbot, who put some energy into getting all the junk out of that thing. Oh, good. So, where basically did, what remains are, um, where, did the, where did the junk go? Uh, well, one of them, I also would like to thank whatever townsperson took that metal, <laughs> they left a metal, huge metal cabinet out on the road with a free sign. It was gone when I came to work on Monday, so that was a delay, because that was just like needed yeah. to go away. So oh, I took that, that was in the storage mm -hmm. oh, Just like okay. things that were left over that nobody wanted, had no value. So did um, you junk some of it? So I didn't, they took all of it. Oh, okay. um, and so what remains were, and what I've done is there was a huge pile of different types of things left, and I've kind of separated the recycling, the there's like books, there's different things, and then all of the financial documents are on the other side. Um, I've coordinated with Sandra Ferber, our treasurer. She's gonna review those documents on Friday. Um, most of them are quite old, like financial documents from 06, 07, 08, like banker right. boxes of them. Right, and I, wonder, I don't know what the retention policy is for those, I guess the auditor. It's, know. well, yeah, so it, it's, it, it's really like, the last audit we did was 15, so anything older than that, we're good, so it's, we're. It's, it's, years, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's a long time, so I think it's. Yeah, either, she'll check yeah. it out. She, she's yeah. She'll be um, on it. So that's great. Um, 
And at this point, I think I'm on schedule to have that box out of there by the middle of September. Yay, we're gonna save what, 65 bucks a month? 75 bucks. 75, 75. Yep. we're paying 65 in these calls. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's good and we don't need it. And um, after that, we've also contacted, um, uh, oh gosh, I'm forgetting his name, last name's Frost. Tom? Tom Frost to um, maybe come and do some cleaning around, because uh, there's lots of cobwebs, the building is just hasn't yeah, been cleaned in a while. Can you, you mean power wash it maybe? Yeah, power wash and like get um, windows cleaned and kind yeah, of get it. Yeah, because I think you or Barbara asked about maybe power washing, having him, well he's washing the building over there to wash the town hall, which yeah. makes sense to me. Yeah, so we, do that. we could coordinate on the day, you know, or hour, yeah. but I think, um, so that's kind of in process, um, and so that's the storage container. Okay. Um, the unrecorded list is current to August 2nd, so that's okay. pretty good, August 2nd. So we have an unrecorded list, so when documents come in to be recorded, oh, they okay. basically go on a list, the recording date is the date that we received them, so typically most towns you're a few weeks behind in terms of how long it takes. Some right. of these things take a while to actually record record and get them in there. There's a lot of different pieces with, mm -hmm. if there's PTR, if there's sometimes it's just like going yeah, back and forth. It's a lot of stuff. So it takes a little while, but we're doing pretty good. August 2nd is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. a lot of towns are months and months behind. Yeah. So that's, and, and attorneys, you know, people are calling and being like, did this get recorded yet? And I think a lot of people are happy to find out that even if it remains unrecorded, that the recording date is the date we received it. So if your September 1 um, current use application is due, that is the date. So it's so one of the things I'm going to try to do moving forward is on Thursdays, I'm going to go ahead and post the unrecorded list to our public notices so that researchers can find out, have access to that list and see actually um, where their documents are. Yeah, um, and they won't have to call you in. In the you. process, and as we kind of educate more people, um, then that will be one more thing that I won't have to respond to on the weekend. Well, also, yeah. that's that's really good because the gap with title searches, yeah. there's yeah. that gap, yeah. and, and essentially you're putting everybody on notice. Yeah, and not only is there a gap, but there's also a gap in discharges because it's if it's a bank that's Bank of America or somewhere from somewhere else, it could take weeks or months to actually get a discharge. So people are like, oh my God, I have two open mortgages. But like, they just get a little weird. So it's right. nice to just be like, it's okay, it's coming. Yeah. This is right. what I have, this is what I do not have. And so people right. can be, you know, doing whatever they need to do to make sure. Try to get them to hurry up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, I wanted to thank Donna Fitch. So she came out um, as, you know, the, I guess she's the chair of the Historical Society. She and I went through all of the articles that they have in the vault. Um, some of them remained because they're quite valuable or they just don't have a good storage or an idea or a plan. Obviously, I don't want to kick anything out of the vault, um, but she did take a lot of documents and a lot of things. She rented a, store, a heated storage unit and packed up a bunch of stuff and opened up a bunch of shelving space. So it's, we're moving yeah. forward with like creating more where is space. That, where is that unit? The unit, um, I believe it's the storage unit kind of across from, what's the road that goes up to U32? and Gallison. Gallison. Yeah, so it's, I think it's, there's like, it's what like across else? from, oh. it used to be a Kia, I don't know if it still oh. is. I'm oh, not sure. oh, I see. Over there. Okay, over there. Right. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure she might have even used her own money. I don't know, but cool. she is great, and that was awesome. It was nice to see her in chat as well. Um, so that's very thankful to Good. get that. Um, as far as the rest of the stuff that I have, we're kind of getting more into like funding that I'm requesting. I don't know right. how you want well, to it's, about it. Some um, of it would be for ARPA. Most of it is really not ARPA related. Right, so what's not, we're gonna talk about ARPA stuff later, but what is it you need that's not, wouldn't be So, ARPA? well, one of them, the first item that I have is the um, BNCTA annual conference, which is coming up. Um, I mean, the town office, you have a budget. For yeah, so office. so there's a budget for continuing ed. Yeah. Um, that's half of it. The other piece is whether you would be willing to fund me to spend the night there because it's a two-day conference. Otherwise, I can drive back and then really? drive back down. It's fairly... It's, oh, like no, just there. it's not that bad, but... I don't... It's, like I said, do you have a budget at the town office? So if it fits within the budget... Okay. 
so that you that would be continuing ed. So that's I just wanted to make sure I don't yeah. want to no, that's, I mean, spend good, money that's you know. Right, no, it's good to know. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. Want to and drive it'll, back and forth. it'll be really valuable just to meet other clerks, and they have a, a some networking. There's good networking. Um, like Cots will be there. Mm -hmm. Other um, oh. folks that are sort nice. of just in the realm that I'll be able to meet. Um, and also, there's some just there's some really good continuing ed programming right. um, that's really geared towards helping town clerks and treasurers. So good. I'm glad you're going. Great. Yeah. So that's good. Um, the other piece that. Well, the other two pieces, I'm not sure where they would fit. One of them, I sent you a quote from RB Tech. Yes. Um, yep. It's, so it turns out that our firewall is basically still functioning, but it's expired, it's out of date, and there's no more, the way he, they yeah, described it is they can't patch it anymore. Mm -hmm. So we need to get a new firewall, um, and that's the funding is for that the, is that this? both the firewall and the installation. How many monies? So what is it? Is it total of 839? The total oh. is... I'm not sure which one of these. Uh, 839 would be the total for products and services. I just brought one and she has a copy as well. Yeah, I mean, are you asking us for... Is this in, in some budget or is it... This would come out of our technology budget. And this is me. I don't know what the budgets are. I just, you know, I'm just well, bringing it to you that this is something that we what, need to purchase. What I would suggest is that we look at, ask Sandra how much money we have left in the technology budget. And if there's plenty of money in there, I think that this is something we Just have to do. Yep. Or else we're going to be sorry we didn't at some yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah, firewalls are quite important. Yeah, they are. As, we really important. as we've come to find out more and more. Right. Okay, so I'll reach out to Sandra. Right. Um, so are you looking for the board? Do you want the board to authorize? Uh, if it's in the I don't budget. Think we need to. He's yeah. independent yeah. office. Right. Yeah. If we gave him a budget in the annual meeting, then that's his. Right. Okay. And if it comes I mean, I, I guess analogy, FYI, as long as you fall within the boundary of what's approved at the town meeting. Yeah. It's your call, really. Okay. I appreciate you checking in. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's just it's good. It's really but great. Transparency and information. Right. No, no, that's great. So I really nice appreciate that. Because it's a point of risk for everybody. It's pretty important. So it's, yeah. yeah. And it's not, right. it's not yet, like, creating any issues, but they, you know, they gave me a heads up and I've been yeah. chatting with them and it seems like it's something that it's and pretty doable and pretty quickly. Are, is this the same? This is different. Oh, okay. So that's the RB Tech quote. Um, okay. I will go ahead and I will, I can report back and just yep. let you know. We got that's it, fine. there's yep. plenty of money or yeah. we need to figure something out. Um, the other two, I'm not really sure where they fit in terms of funds requests. One of them is this co-file um, quote. Which, for what? So that would be for a new roller shelf um, and a new plat map cabinet with all of the different things. We are down to 20 more slots for maps, so we're running out of space for maps. Um, so anytime there's a survey, all of those things are right. recorded and Same and thing I would apply with these as did with the Army Tech thing. Perfect. If there's money in the budget, then... Okay. And just, I mean, we really appreciate you letting us know so yep. we're not, like, surprised. So you have plenty of room for that? <laughs> Making room. There, yeah, we're creating room. Wow. And, and part of that is um, being able to move documents around, move things around, and having more space freed up, and also just organizationally. Um, it's gonna be a push, um, but there's definitely a couple things that are happening in the vault, just organizationally, that will make things um, more accessible and just free up space. Yeah. So there, there yeah. will be room for another shelf, and the plat map, there's another that could just go right on top yeah, of fine. the two that exist. Go for it. Perfect. Can I ask a quick question back to the RB Tech? And there, it's just about one of the statements in there, and we probably already plan around this. But mm -hmm. sort of the, the daybreak event, they said we already, uh, we, we consider replacing network equipment and after five years. Do we cycle that now? Like on all of our. Yeah, we, we, we are on a. Are we on a regular yeah, yeah, we are. We, are. we, are. we, we just got a new server. Right, RB Tech got us on to the schedule. So, yeah, so we're scheduling. Yeah, yeah. 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 we're scheduling. Sure. They're out of East Montpelier. They're in that old airport hangar looking yeah. thing next right to the right right credit union. Sweet little skating rink over there in the winter. Mm -hmm. I love that spot. It's awesome. Um, the other pieces would be more of the um, ARPA funds request looking at um, COTS and uh, continuing to digitize records. Mm -hmm. Now, there's one thing I did want to address. Um, you asked me a question last time that I didn't really have the answer to. And the question was, um, how far back are we digitized? So it's kind of like two, two answers. Um, 
there is in COTS, we are fully digitized through 2011. So that means you can um, search a name and everything since 2011 will show up on a list. And you can literally just click on the pages and get exactly what you want. After that, we have a, there's a system that's also COTS that's called the card file system. And those go back to, and you had asked me how far back do those go. So those go back to 1941, which is book 23. So what that means is mm -hmm. that you can find, you can use the old card system. So it's like every instrument has, it's, the name is there and then it'll have the book and page and like what it is. That's not searchable, right? So you're literally looking through the cards and scanning oh, okay. to see, okay. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and then there's a drop down and you can go to book 23 or book whatever and actually get that. But it's not indexed in the same way as, so you're kind of, when you're a researcher, you're basically looking at two different mm -hmm. so sets you have, of information. It's like, essentially, it's like you were there. Yeah, yeah. But there's no computer enhanced search function. Exactly. Okay. Can, that, can that happen? So it's very expensive. Yeah. Well, basically, that's where the big money comes in, is that the way to do that is for, so they will come through and if the records aren't, the, the, actually, the cheap part is actually scanning all those records. Mm -hmm. The expensive part is basically what I do every time a new document comes in, where you're putting in the grantee, you're putting in the grantee, the information. And so they're looking at these old documents and figuring out who the grantor is. The grant, I mean, it's in cursive, there's all, you know, all yes. kinds of stuff, and you get so older and older. A, it's a very labor-intensive. It's extremely yeah. labor-intensive. That would be up to you all to decide whether that's something that is of value to our town or not. Right now, we have <laughs> many documents that, I mean, to 41 is pretty darn good to have something where if you have a book and page, I can go and pull that and print it and give it to you immediately, okay. right? So mm -hmm. that's pretty good. Do um, we need to digitize stuff further back? Well, that would be the question of whether we want to go further back or... Do you or, want an answer from us now? No. Okay. It's just, you know, there's... On our radar. Yeah, on the radar, radar, there's, you know, people are talking about these funds. I bet that would be a lot of money. It's a lot of money. It's, well, the I question think, is too... Do you know what simple. that a money, what a lot of money means? Yes. Um, so, Probably basic... 10,000 bucks or more. I think it's about 15,000 bucks a book is, a is, book. is yeah. what I'm... Yeah, because it's, wow. you're talking about people literally... Yeah. Entering in, I can think of better it's ways insane. to spend yeah. money. I was gonna say, and how, also, how, how do you know what happens if they screw up? Guess what? You just talked about digitization of the entire body of law. Yeah. In other words, cases and everything. It's just human beings doing it. Yep. They screw All up. Right. Yep. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, so you had mentioned that you were concerned that the older books, the documents, were getting. You were concerned about them not the surviving. They're well, not getting any younger. Yeah. Um, the other piece is you actually I, seeing deterioration. Is it getting moldy? What's going on? No, no, no. There's no mold. The, we have. Yeah. What if we wanted to go from book? Is there a book one? There is a book one. Started what if we one. wanted to go from book one to book twenty-three, mm -hmm. just the way twenty-three forward to twenty-eleven was? Yeah. No more than that. That is creating digitized versions of them. Yeah. The Do you have any idea what that would cost? I could find out. Um, I think that's, I think that would that's, be really interesting. The other piece, I think that would be that the I first step to do that. that. Yeah, so, they're, they're like preserved. Right. one At to 23 so. is one thing, and then the other piece is, I don't believe, no, actually, let me just double check. I think the There's cards no only go back, I, I have it on a picture. Oh. Um, <laughs> the, I believe the, the file cards, um, only go back to, I believe, the, yeah, 40s. So hmm. that would be 1800s, the oh, 40s. Right. Um, and that's the thing, there are no card files. So that, so those documents could be there, but it would be... You'd have to digitize the document. We would have to digitize the document and then figure out how to... Can they digitize them? They can, yeah, they do. Yeah. Do they come right to the office and do it? Um, I believe they either come to the office. I think in the, when they came and digitized the cards, I believe they took them away and brought them yeah. back. I'm just I'm concerned about the really old stuff. Yeah. Making sure that we have it <coughs> somewhere in case something happens. Well, right. you've got a backup, but digital. Well, right. we do have a backup. We have microfiche. Everything's microfiche. Oh, it is microfiche. Yep. Can they take the microfiche and change it into? You save about three cents. Per document is virtually oh. and and it's and for that you get a lesser quality image. Doc, uh, imaging the document oh, with oh. their high quality yeah. imaging systems. I remember systems when I, I remember when I first worked at yeah. 
remember when I first started working for the state and I had to go back and research the old teachers' retirement records, yep. and it was all on microfish. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my god! Yeah, so well, that, if you could, if you could let it, awesome. that would be a really interesting. Yeah, number. yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a great idea. I will absolutely yeah. get back so, to that. So, so um, getting back to my original question, long term, what you mentioned, you were concerned about the stability of those older books and us needing to do something. I just preservation. felt well. I just I, I just feel strongly that there should be beyond microfiche like some other way. So is there is there a say. technique that they varnish them? What do they do? Well, they have these books have been sprayed. There's they've sprayed something on the books themselves. Yeah, the leather. Um, I don't let anybody touch those books without gloves. So we're doing everything oh, from records really? management Excellent. standpoint of those old books oh, to be like. How much is that the kind of thing where the shelf? Has to be in glass and you know. You no, it's no, they're just they're just on roller shelves. Yeah, yeah. and if you ever want to get come get a tour of the vault, I'm happy to show you around. Um, but they're just sitting there out. And for instance, this issue around the the town piece of property mm -hmm. that. Um, yeah, yeah. 1831. Yeah. So that was I pulled book five and took an image of that and sent it to Sharon, who sent it to you know yeah. To, yeah. to try to get that process moving forward. Mm -hmm. That was an example of like this would be way easier if I could just go to my card file and pull book and page and right. and ship it and and it's one of those things where it's I just felt like I shouldn't even be opening this book. Up. Are those just, card files are the cards indexed themselves in any way, or yes. they're just chronological? Uh, well, that's the weird thing about the whole system is that all of our cards are indexed based on your last name, yeah. and of course the land books are chronological. Yeah. Uh, well, that's another interesting piece. The last name is typically, um, I've seen all sorts of things. I've seen man's last name Morgan and G. others. I've seen... It, it's, it's so it's it, a minimal it, amount of words, information. It depends. It Got depends. It. Yeah. I think it might <laughs> depend on... You know, who yeah, was sorry. more favorable yeah, at that right. point if they were good friends, maybe like for instance, my card file, because we purchased our property before 2011, says Jeremy Weiss and others. So that takes almost as much time to type and others as Have it does discuss this with Maggie Weiss. Oh, she's aware. She thought that was wild. So it's just, it, the, and I, I've talked to attorneys who are like, I've never seen this anywhere. What is going on? So I've been trying to update those cards as we go through because, you know, yeah. sometimes if you're on the deed, then you should be on that card. That's right. That's right. Um, Absolutely. I think the only time that to me would be maybe appropriate use of and others is if there's literally like 10 or 12 or 15 people who right. own that property right. and maybe yeah. you yeah. put the first five and then others right you know maybe that okay. would be appropriate so all right is there anything um, else cemetery card file so i still have that money with the digitization i have a restoration fund there's about 15 grand um i did reach out to joe mangan our sexton Good. he is busy mowing and doing things this summer we're gonna get together in the fall and start talking through that process okay. through and seeing yeah that would be great get. to get that stuff because that's a, that's a big there's issue sometimes well. there are missing lots yes there's all I sorts of people. interesting things yes. that I can't even... Yes, 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 there is. Yes, yes, there is. There's lots. So, I've heard about them. Mm -hmm. That is what I have, uh, have for you all today. Thank you. Okay, and we're not going to be able to do Sandra's report. Yeah. So that'll have to wait till the next time. So um, I was going to ask the board. We received our first allotment of the ARPA funds, which was... We received at the end of July, it came to $83,959.58. That's our first installment. No, that's the that's installment outside of the county monies. Right, the county okay. money will receive the same amount again next year. As ours? As ours. Correct. We do not, the state still hasn't determined how they're going to allocate the county money. Jeez. So that's pending. Um, so I talked to Sandra today briefly, and I would like to ask the board to authorize Sandra and I to talk with Memrick about doing the bookkeeping, accounting yeah. function yeah. of these funds, mm -hmm. how much it would cost, what they would do, and also to start looking at what guidelines do we want to follow. We want to have some kind of a plan, <laughs> some kind of guideline that everybody has to follow to request funds because right now I have a list of, I see. Yep, of um, I have, I, that's a list of who I know wants money. 
from this these funds? Is it going to be is it a one time request, which one of them I know is, or are they going to request money? They want this much money, but are they going to request it in two What's pieces? TWSC? So the guidelines. Twin Valley Senior Center. <laughs> so you're suggesting what that we need guidelines? We need some kind of guideline. You know, is this a one time request? Are they? Is it a? Are they going to ask for money now, and they're going to ask right. for money later? What is the project for? How does and it does benefit? Does it comply with? And does it comply with these guide with the state. ARPA funding the guidelines? ARPA. And that's why we need an EMRIC. Okay. Yep. So, who would draft the guidelines? Well, I'm I'm going to talk with NEMRIC to see for one, do they already have something? Because there's no point in reinventing the wheel if there's already something, or maybe the league has some guidelines. And if not, then Sandra and I talked about a few things, and we can put together, you know, a draft of something and then bring it to the board to look at. Maybe have I don't know if we need Jim to look at the we guidelines. Need to somebody familiar with the guidelines. Right, and I have a whole file of all of this stuff that I've been keeping track of. Um, so I'd like to have a preliminary discussion with NEMRIC just to get some more information on how do we spend this money. I know so we have you to want us to authorize you to, to have a discussion to work with who? To work with um, Sandra. Sandra and I to work with NEMRIC. To get an estimate. To get, just get some more information. Yeah. You know, if okay. they're if they're going to do the bookkeeping for us, what's going to be possible? Do you need to vote on this, or do you just need to know it's okay? I just need to know it's okay. It's okay with me. Well, it's just great. Okay. 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 Just don't blow it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that you're going to use the other word. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. So I'll get started. I'll work on that. Um, you have anything else? Do you have anything else for me? Convey your congratulations to your better half. Yeah. 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 Or, oh, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. 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 I, I definitely was like, condolences. You won. She's good. Yeah, right. Condolences. She'll be good, also, though. Yeah. She's great. Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. Um, she'll be a good fit. I yeah. think she yeah. shares many of our mm -hmm. sentiments around mm -hmm. um, the way that whole thing went down and local voice. Mm -hmm. Good. She'll do her best. Yeah. You know, she sometimes yeah. it's screaming in the wilderness, but. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just, so we still scream though. So yeah, yeah. 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 Get a, get a if, if she screams in the wood, does anybody hear? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out. Well, thank um, you. Yeah, so she'll be she'll be great, and she's excited. Um, and I think it'll be uh, a learning experience for us all. Is everybody thank sign her this? Yeah. 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 I will. Can you take this? Yes, I can. Okay. We've all. <laughs> thank you, Jeremy. Okay, You're absolutely. Thank you. My pleasure. Have a great evening. Thank yeah. I'll talk to you. See ya. Okay, Alfred. You want to join us? Alfred, this is the old fashioned way. Do you remember this? Yes. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you might. Yeah. All right. I didn't hear from you about anything for the agenda, so I assume that everyone wanted. No, I think you've covered all that there is to talk about. What do you mean? Did you buy the chipper already? I've signed for the chipper, yeah. Signed for the chipper. Yeah, well, it's not right. available. Well, all right. Well, well, you told us it was September. Be in September. September. Yeah. Cool. Well, sometime in September. They wouldn't give me a beginning and middle of nothing. So it's something. You're not, you, didn't, you didn't get that. Well, you know, sure. we don't know yeah. because computer chips are a problem. It might not. Yeah. Well, no, that's it. similar to the problem. I mean, there's all these vendors are mm -hmm. not shipping stuff. Yeah. So it yeah. needs, you know, uh, the winch, for instance. If the company's not shipping the winch, then they can't sell it because it's not complete. Right, right. And this is a new one we're getting, right? Yeah. We're getting a new one. Brand new. Brand spanking new. Right. Sorry to interrupt the flow. Yes. All right. So we need to talk about WEC. Yep. Um, and I had, I don't know if I brought them in the folder. My, I had a whole list of questions. And then answers from them. And then the answers back from them. So I'm kind of, I think I've got it. Hold on. Had a test. They're talking about last year. I don't know. Bill Powell mentioned it's going to need an upgrade. This is on. This is right near the museum. Is this an action item for us or an information item? It's action. in the right of way. It's in the right of way. And periodically. What is that? That's on more. Now? Wow. That's why you can work. So I go. Okay. Yeah. 
He arranged for him to drive by. So he <laughs> to to impress us. Exactly. And it worked. It, it worked. happened yeah. last time. Yeah. I think it happened. But it wasn't dark. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, so Weck um, has asked for us to approve their line. It's not an ex the part of the application said an extension. It's not an extension. It's to put it under placement. And they I think didn't. I think here are your questions up on the board. Yes. There's an existing line there, and it's just old, and I guess there's been a problem with it, so they yeah, need to okay. replace the line, the conduit, the whole, the whole works. Okay. Same footprint, just gonna side by side. Very and, similar. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know if they're gonna pull the old out. Or yeah, you just, just leave it. Usually they just leave. It. So they'll go, you know, a couple of feet aside of it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Why is it underground? Historic district. It's historic district. It's up here by the museum. So okay, it's, great. It's, it's always been underground. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. Um, yeah. So I had asked a number of questions, Rick. Maybe you can scroll down. Yeah. Thank you. Tell me where to stop. All right. So so here's my first question: Does it need a permit application number? Apparently, this, in this case, they haven't assigned it yet. Well, they've, they've kind of got their own application. So who right, who's, this. who's it needs right. a permit from who? Yeah, I don't understand. We, we've done this. Yeah, we've done this periodically. Right. And they give us this application or this permit application to sign. We've done these before. So I used to always kind oh, of yeah. take the lead on yeah, those. Them many times. Right. Um, they said it's the duration of the permit yeah, is for that long. And my question is, will they notify, mainly you, when they're going to do the work? So you might have to put up some road close signs or something like that. And they said they would work with you. Um, they're willing to have the tree warden come out and look at the trees in the towns right away before they cut anything. Yeah, in that area, there's not much for trees. It's just yeah. low lying brush is all they would be cutting. Well, I think all we would do is notify Neil, maker, yeah. that this has been approved yeah, and, and we approved it, and he can go and look. Yeah. And they said they were willing to meet with you, and then this Brian Wilkin answered my questions, and then Bill Powell answered my questions, which they basically gave the same answers. Mm -hmm. So um, I would make a motion that we attach to this our minutes, which will incorporate the questions asked and the answers, so that we can attach it to this permit. Mm -hmm. So I would make a motion that we approve their request, and you've looked at it. Yeah, yeah, I haven't met with them, but I looked at their design, and I know the grounds. Yeah. I actually did drive by, and I know where it crosses Old West Church, and it crosses Kent Hill. Mm -hmm. So it kind of goes out through that mark, mm -hmm. yep. and then, then it crosses the to another pole uh, up closer to Judy Pitch's place. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's why it would be important. If you need them, too, they said they would come out and work It goes work across to Allison's house, too. I remember them. Allison right. and Evan. Those, they're not changing. They're not touching that? That's correct. Okay. They're they're that's new. The those are secondary. secondary. This is by Judy Bingham. Okay. So Bingham. Just yeah, I know there is. They're just changing the primary lines. Okay. So Bigham and Allison both come as secondary from that primary. Yeah. Okay. There's cabinets for each one. They yeah. call cabinets. It's like yeah. boxes. Mm -hmm. They make their transformer. Nice so they're just, as far as I can tell, they're only changing the, the primary. And it's all underground. Okay, so you're good to go for us to approve this? Yes. Yes. I mean, I, I think I read through this and I didn't mm -hmm. see anywhere where they said how deep they were going and whatnot. I mean, that's the only concern that I have is that they go make sure that they go deep enough <coughs> and that they mark it <coughs> and that it's marked yes. yeah, yeah. the underground. Well, I think yeah. we can put that in the minutes too. What I mean, it's obviously going to depend what's how far they can dig is going to depend on what they right. find I mean, when they're dry. State law right. is three feet. <coughs> they have to put it at least three feet down. Okay, so let's put in the minutes that state law is three feet underground. And you, we would like them to minimum. mark minimum. Well, that's they do mark a risk of make sure they put warning ribbon in the ditch. So we're 
Can just help someone help me out? We're approving this permit because it's activity in the towns right away. In the right towns away. right away. Correct. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter that they already have have something that's an easement that they're operating within the easement it's no already. Easement. It's just, no easement. And you know, by it's permitted use in the right. It's just away. a permitted use right. in Until our right, right away. Right. Well, that's and, good. Yeah, and they and they have. But we have to allow them. Right. Yeah. I, mean, I was going to uh, say we don't. But really we have this. Choice. We we can move stuff. Yeah. Like they want, proposed poles, I'll, and we've said no. You need to add an extra pole. Well, they provide we don't want you no, taking out all those trees. Right. We've had that problem where they're going to take out a bunch of uh, shade trees, and they're like, "Well, we we'll eliminate the pole that way." Like, uh, do we so we have that power. Do we have problems with general easements? You know, where they have an easement, like a lot of the old electric line easements. It was just anywhere on the property. And they can decide where these were old easements when electrifying them. You know, rural yeah, electrification. Yeah, I don't know. I know that's an issue. I know about that issue. Yeah, yeah and, and it was too. everybody loved it. You know, yeah. great. Pick right. wherever you want. Can we go back to this issue? Yeah, second. Uh, you need a second here, well, Marshall. Yeah, if I was going to second too, or whoever. But what? one thing I want to request is that we get have them get us as built layouts for this, so we know where that cable is. Alfred should have that. Because when we're digging, mm -hmm. if you're working in the right of way, you want to know where that is. Without, mm -hmm. without, I mean, it even helps dig say, you know. Yeah, okay, so also for the minutes. Provide as built right. layouts, cable location. Okay. On right. the, and as built, I mean, when he says as built, it's, it's if they go, if they veer off of the design. Right. That you want to know right. exactly right. right. They hit a ledge, they hit right. something. That makes sense. Right. You know, yeah. yeah, that's a good idea. You want an as built. Diagram that shows us. Yep. We have it on file somewhere as well. Yep. Yeah, we've got there it. it is. Okay, so that's going to be added to the list in the minutes of our requirements. So those are surveyed in? Or are they just kind of pen and ink? They're pen and yeah. ink usually, but they're usually marked with. It depends. I mean, you can have some you can have. Where are you marking distance from? Yeah, you, you locate. So you've got, you know, pretty precisely locate where it what? is. Well, you, probably, you pick some landmark point and measure it. It kind of depends. I mean, sometimes they do actually. That's why I was asking for a survey. Right. Well, be most different. On, on one side of the road, there's going to be a telephone pole. Right. So you know that's your starting yeah. point. And then right. most of the time they go straight across, but not always. Right. Sometimes they go on an angle ledge or on the road or whatnot. So yeah. you know, it just would be nice to have the as, the as, as, the as built yeah. plan of where yeah. the line was yeah. Yeah. installed. Right. Yes. You'll know right. what that yes. means. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> all right, so let's have the minutes reflect that. All right, is there anything else, or is somebody ready to make a motion to? Who's approve? taking minutes? You, Katie will, you and already. she's going to take it from off the, the, off the, off the Orca break. recording. Okay. So thank you, Orca. So There's you've made the motion. Now. You've made the motion. I've got it's been seconded. <laughs> yeah. I'm in favor. Okay. Aye. Everybody in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Now note that we're going to say here, see attached minutes. Four, four conditions, and then we all sign this. Um, so if you want to, everybody want to sign, and then tomorrow I can, or when Katie gets the minutes done, um, I can send this to WEC. And this is eight twenty. Okay, we'll do it. 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 If you do. Hey, guys. It's working. I know. Okay, so. Well, you need to sign it and then pass yeah. it to those to sign. All right. Next. Um, plan your dates. So, How's the hiring process going? Uh, if you must have been, not after not. the races, you must have hundreds of Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. I actually don't. Uh, so that's the bad news. The good news is that um, I have sort of convinced Ed Rowell to come back on. Really? Really? He wants that's to That's good. Wow. Well, I mean, the way he put it to me, and it was tonight, just before we left shop, is that he's there full time. He I mean, I've been checking his time card. And oh, he's, he's always, there? Yeah, yeah, he's there. Yeah. 
So he's saying, I'm here every day, I might as well be getting the Benefits. Benefits. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I agree. I, I do too. I don't blame so yeah. you. But the problem is it's going to impact his retirement. It's going to freeze him. No, it won't. He's old well, enough now. He doesn't have to worry about his that. His state retirement? His municipal. Not his social security. He, did, he didn't. No, he didn't take the municipal retirement. Oh, he didn't? No, he he had, this is probably personnel, but no, um, he had that other plan that Don Singleton had where it was through the National Life. Oh, okay, okay. And you could so take a lump sum. For the most part. But took a lump sum. Okay. He is in the Beamer's plan, too, also. Yes. Um, so he needs well, to check with Beamer's and make sure. sure. he's drawing that or not. But yeah. he, can, he should be able to just... No, he's getting out. that. If he was in it. Yeah, he should check with them. He should check. Yeah, but... <laughs> there, so anyway... <laughs> that's a little above, above my... Well, just, just FYI, if we can... Hire and we should check out with Beamers. If he Beamer becomes a, a full time municipal employee yes, retirement system. Right. Yes. There's just teachers, there's the state employees, and there's the municipal. And then there's the sheriffs. Right. Um, Police. And there's the court. Mm -hmm. um, but there's a way to kind of navigate that where he can continue his Beamers. If he were a con contractor, contract employee, we could write a contract and provide him all the benefits that he's requesting, but he's not a formal employee. And it is a way, it's the way the state actually is able to hire back engineers and not impact their retirement so he can continue his retirement. Yeah. It's commonly done, but we he should really probably, we shouldn't allow, Ed shouldn't be, he should be able to continue to get his Beamer's retirement. Mm -hmm. And if he's gonna assist us and he needs his, and he's seeking to have his benefits included, you know, holidays, I'm guessing, and all that, right. um, then we can do that through a contract, I think, and, and oh, not yes, impact yeah. his beamers. So maybe we have Sandy, Sandra, look into that? Yeah, we should ask Sandra to look into that, and he should, I mean, you should encourage him to really go make an appointment and go and talk to somebody at the retirement office right. so that things work right for him. Yes. You know, yeah. we can't. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, right. It's no, hard to get an appointment with them, though. It's like 10 million months or something. Uh, Sandra might be able to get an angle in there better, yeah, quicker might. than an employee. Yeah, she might, she might be able to. Miss Bob Rap. So, right. she, I've got a lot of experience with them. So, yeah. Trisha's office. So, um, that would be my suggestion that we have Sandra Absolutely. make that call and yeah. find well, out. I think, I think he would be open to the contractor. Yeah. Yeah. Contract employee type thing yeah. that you mentioned because he, the vibes I'm getting is he doesn't want to work the rest of his life. But yeah. he, he, he's so committed to the town that he wants to I help know. us. Yeah. Yeah. But he also well, you know, if he doesn't work for the town, he's going to be doing free hay work for his son. Well, yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Um, but, you know, he just, he also wants to, if he's going to work 40 hours or whatever, or whatever time I call him, right. you know, sometimes. Right. Yeah. There are weeks that he can get some overtime. Yeah. But he he feels like he wants to have the benefits also. Yeah. I don't blame him. So we, we should, if you could so drill down. And I'm ecstatic to have him. You know, right. I've been working on him for the last couple. Could, you know, he's yeah. Thirty years. Could, he's could you drill down? down yeah. Could you figure out what benefits he actually? Is? I mean, he may not want to go on the health plan. It maybe he's looking at vacation, and sick right. days, and that kind of stuff. Yeah. And we can probably accomplish that through a contract. Yeah, we'll Find out what he's, get a list and send it to us, yeah. and then we know, and then it will help us figure out the best path. Right, well, that will help that. Sandra to figure out who to ask what. Yeah, yeah. Because we want to we do what's going to be best for him. Right. You know, because he is a loyal, dedicated employee, and yeah. we appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. So we don't want him to get screwed. Um, so with that, I mean, I... If, so he, that's if he does take a full time, then we, one of our full time positions is full, right? And we're still looking for another full mm -hmm. and a part time. Mm -hmm. We should also mm -hmm. for the weekends. For the weekends, and when somebody's sick or winter, winter, yeah, yeah. What about this Bill guy? Does he have any? He would be a great employee, but we can't touch his wages. Oh, okay. He's he's five hundred fifty hours a year overtime. Where does he work? Casella. 
Oh. Your retry should get down. He drives every single down. group that they have. He knows the whole, every, you know. So he's a valuable employee he's to them. He's a valuable employee to yeah. them, although he really wants to do dirt work or road work. Mm -hmm. uh, but the difference in the overtime is just his yearly salary would, mm -hmm. would take the soil. Yeah. 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 Even though they get, you guys get quite a bit of overtime in the winter. Yeah, we were average about 200 where he's. Uh, 500. Wow. It's crazy. He's no crazy. I, mean, I don't think he's home. I mean, where does he sleep? I know. I was just going to say, you when know, does he. In the truck. Right. In the truck. Huh. But. Uh, well, we did leave the ad to say open till filled. We didn't put a cutoff. Yeah. Right. right. I thought somebody sent so somebody no. your way. Uh, yep. But he never comes in. Oh. He actually stopped at the town office. Right. And Barbara told him that we don't really have an application, that he should come and see me. But I never said hmm. okay. uh, Another thing that we should talk about is, is that application. So yeah. we can, uh, we were going to have somebody look at it and update it, change the word. Yeah, I guess I never, I never saw it. I mean, that doesn't well, seem like had, it. We have an application, but. Right, but I never saw it to see what needed to be updated. Yeah, I don't think, I think Sanders, the one that brought it up, and she wanted to have a lawyer look at it or somebody from the LCT and just yeah. see, is it up to snuff? She yeah. didn't think it was. Okay. Yeah. So it Got needs to be, you know, somebody okay. looked at, changes made if need be. And okay, so let's put it, it let's, for the minutes then, when, when Katie's doing that, let's make a note to review our um, application to for the highway crew. And put it on a put it on a future agenda, and maybe we can get VLCT or Jim to. That should be in our next meeting. Yeah. Agenda, our next regular meeting. Um, and we should invite Sandra on that. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to come anyway. It requires a vote necessarily, does it? What? No. Uh, to to have somebody look at. No. 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 It's just no. We just we just wanted. It's in the minutes. Sure that's why I put it in the minutes. Right. We want to get it done. So employment application for road crew. Because Sandra may have something in mind. The LCT, Sandra. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Any update on the signs on Lightning Ridge there? Mm -hmm. No, I ordered the tractor signs. The speed limit signs? The speed limits are up. Wow. They were wow. that day. Well, I know you, you said that night. I got that day. <laughs> nice job. Thank uh, you. So, but I had to order the tracker song. Yeah. Those will be in. Yeah. They'll be in when they're in. Of course, everybody's hurt for help. Even the sign company has to have the help. So they're it's, 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 it is it's everywhere. everywhere. It's yeah. everywhere. Restaurants and stores are having to close early or not open because yeah. they can't find help. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. um, so we another need immigrants. update, immigrants. fairly minor, is the truck, the old truck. I talked to the Afghans. town that we're buying the truck from. Mm -hmm. Women. And they're looking, they're looking like September, uh, January. So they're, not, they're not getting their new truck until November. So that's two months after that. So we're looking into this like face in January. This is to no, get we, our. Yeah, I thought we were supposed to get that. Well, no, this is COVID December. delay. <laughs> December, this, is, December. this is what? COVID delay. COVID delay. We're, we're purchasing a used dump truck yeah. from town of Faceton. When they get a new one. When That's they right. get their new, new one. And they anticipate it's just kind of Right. Yeah, I got it. So yeah. And it may not be until yeah. next spring. <coughs> okay. uh, Everything's affected by when they can get parts and yeah. all this stuff. Right. To make, even to make a new truck. That's what it is. They have trouble getting parts. Right. Right. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. So the other side of that is that I also have a buyer for our truck, our spare truck. Yeah. And I told him we I can't let it go until I get mine. Right. He's fine with that. Oh, okay. Because he's not going to use it. What are we looking to get for that? Well, the dealer was going to give us 13000 for it, for trade. I've got this guy giving me fifty. So it's two grand more than what the dealer, and yeah. he's willing to sit on it or let us use it until that happens. Wow, awesome. So now is this a company that's buying it or a private? No, private, private. individual. Yeah. What is it? 
Our old truck. It's our old spare. What is it? It's a it's international a ten wheel. So he's just going to use it at his house, moving to their point, okay. and uh, it's perfect truck for that. So he's also willing to just hold, you know, to wait until we get rid of ours. And mm -hmm. He's working on a, some sort of agreement, and if I like it, I'll sign it. If I don't, I won't. Right. But it's, you know, it should be all spelled out as to so what it's I... it's truck and plow. And right, so... Yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, right. Plow, Is he giving you a deposit to hold it? He will. He hasn't yet. Okay. But he's willing to, yes. Okay. And he said he would just make payments, even though he doesn't have his truck, he'd keep making payments over the winter. Okay. Or however long it takes to... To get it? To get it. Good, good enough. So, we're saving... I, do, I just do, I, I do worry that... Um, we didn't advertise it and that someone else mm -hmm. might say, wow, you know, I can't, I've been trying to get a dump truck for two years and I can't because all the used, I don't know what's going on in the yeah. market, that we could get a town's person, a resident mad that they didn't get the opportunity. Good point. How did this um, person find out about the truck? Word out. Word out. Word out. Yeah. Just, I mean, I've been kind of passing it around knowing that I have to sell it. I still think we should put a notice up with some level. We should probably post something just to yeah. be transparent just, to give yeah. everybody the and same then an opportunity. says, I need to hear by some date. We can do it now, even though we're just getting later. And then yeah, just look post. at the best offer. And Where should he he may it? end up being the best offer anyway because he's giving you a lot of flexibility. Well, I think we would. Then we can say, if someone comes down here and we can say, hey, it was advertised, everyone had an opportunity, right, Alfred only point. heard from two people, and the best deal was this guy. Would we post it in the same place as we post agendas? Um, East Cal's post office? I don't, I don't know, how do we usually front advertise porch trucks? Porch. I, mean, I don't think we, we usually, usually don't. just bring it to the dealer. Trading no, we've, we've right. sold, we sold a 650 Ford. Yeah, that was just, street, I don't remember that we advertised it. I would think just using a regular Location. Location. Stick it on front porch yeah. form, at least residents can get it. Yeah, and the residents local right. post. And then we would there. post yeah. it at East right. Cal's post office. I was going to have full intentions of putting it out by the road. But if you put it out, I mean, honestly, with a for sale sign. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's, yeah. The, that's, yeah. that's the best yeah. it. But given the fact that we're not ready to really sell it yet, yeah. right. it's hard to do that. You know what I mean? If, right. if you come to my house looking at a rig and I tell you, well, can well, you, you, we could, you could put a sign. You could put a sign. You could put a sign out for sale, please. And you could put. We could put an ad on. From which form? Or somewhere on the town website. We can put it on the town and website. And we could put the web address, and then the information can be so they're not calling mm -hmm. Alfred. Right. And it will say not available until January. Or not available until so repl spring. replacement truck is received. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Which is anticipated to be January, but maybe later. And do we want to put a price? I mean, this guy's no, offered no. fifteen thousand. It offers no reasonable offer. Make an offer. All reasonable offers considered, okay. and we decide what that is. Um, I know I was actually drove through Tinmouth a year ago, and they had their they did that they stuck their truck yeah. right out there and they yeah. washed it all down. It was all pretty. It had a sign out there for sale, mm -hmm. and I stopped. I mean, that's I wouldn't advertising. Stop. That's yeah. advertising yeah. right there. That but yeah. you're right. No, we can't that's good. Do that. That's a good way to do it. Know. When we're using the truck. Busy. Right. If it's being used, you can't stick it out there. Yeah, but now it's not. Being it's used. not being used right now. It's a spare. Right. Yeah. But you want them probably to schedule an appointment to see it, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, especially if they want to drive it. I mean, right, right. Yeah, no, I think I agree. I think we should advertise it just to. You can let the guy know the select board. You to notice and he's, and he's in contention. He has an opportunity to buy it still. So. Well, he would be first on the. Yeah. Well, if, if all things yeah, being equal, he gets it. If somebody offers us, say, 20000 then they, they take it. twenty. Then they get it. Then they get and it. He, if he can't come, that's how it goes. Yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, I, yeah. I haven't given him my word. I haven't said yeah. anything. Yeah. I yeah. just yeah. told him, and I said, I think that'll work, but I'll. Drop, you know, told him to draw something up, and I will. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Well, but and just now it seems like there's not there's no point in him drawing anything up. If I, right. You know, if I need well, to. Well, no, it is. You can. But well, you know, we sh if he's going to do that, we shouldn't be using that to bid other people higher. Right. It's people make an offer. Right. Make an offer. And you know, it's not fair to like what they're doing in the real estate market. If they get, you know, I go and say, oh. oh you're asking 350, I'm gonna buy that house, and then they say, Oh, John asked me 50, Alfred. You give you want to make more, and then they bidding wars. It's yeah. it's awful, and I don't think we should do that. Yeah, no, I agree with you. I'm interested in that. So, Alfred can keep that quiet. You know, he's do you want to work with Alfred on an ad? Sure, because you guys know he knows about trucks. Yeah, he knows what to do, but yeah, just you know, maybe and he knows where to, I am to review it after you write it up. Yeah. yeah, I can do that. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, town Highway, anything else? Uh, we were mowing on Peck Hill Road. Yeah, Kathy Kishansky called me. And both Kathy and Shower Passage climbed all over the operator. Don't For what mow, reason? Don't mow, don't don't mow. Mow. First, I've heard of it. So, no, the way I feel, the way I see it, is that they should get select board permission before we like stop Peter mowing. Did. Yeah, like Peter did. We made Peter go through all yeah. that and yeah. you yeah. guys have permission yeah. to stop us from mowing. Yeah. So, I feel like they shouldn't have. Was, right. were they, was there an angry response, or was it just yeah, the yeah. They were, they, my, my operator said they were nice. Oh, okay. okay. Tyler, and Tyler's yeah. just like, okay, yep, yeah, I'll go somewhere else. And, yeah. you know, Tyler, not okay. And they it was, said... It wasn't ugly, it just... Okay. It, it yeah. sort of... I just think that there should Jerome. be a process. Trash? Yeah, and maybe that's maybe on us, like too. Put it, they don't put it through, yeah. like Peter. Right. I mean, everybody Peter should have to go through the same process. Yeah. No, that's right. And the same with Jack Hill. Yeah. Stephanie Kaplan is saying, don't mow my, my road from my house clear to, to Moscow Woods. Really? Uh, that's, that's a, a recent large request? That's a portion of road. That's a large portion of road, and particularly that Wait, from road, his, her house all the way to Moscow Woods? house Road? to Jack Hill. That's what she told me. She Why said, do not mow. mow. So, wait, 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 wait. From her house to, hold it. Her house? her house to Moscow Woods. No, she can't respect she that. That's not her property. She can't she 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 yeah. Right. No. No. Yeah, she needs she to come to the select board. No, she needs to. Everybody needs so to follow the same. Yeah. Everybody we can needs skip to. her property and said she can come to us if she wants her. No, everybody please. needs to follow the same process. That's, That's how right. it's fair. Right. So I did talk to Kathy. She called me. I called her back. She said Tyler was absolutely wonderful. Yep. Very respectful. Very nice. But. If they don't want the milkweed mode, they have to come to the board just like we yeah. did with Peter Harvey. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody and me with the road commissioner we'll, we'll advance. Yeah. Why do people not want mowing? Because well, milkweed for the milkweed for the, the wildlife. Monarchs. Some the, people don't for the like wildlife. Them. Some people Peter Harvey's thing is invasive species. Yeah. And Jack seed. Hill Road, they just don't want it mowed. Well, they they don't want it. The perception of widening. Right, it makes it so <laughs> wider. By knowing. Well, I welcome you guys to go travel that road. Yeah. I mean, it's got murdocks. It's like coming yep. right in. Yep. It's, it's terrible. No, they, he, should on mow, on he should mow. He should mow. He should mow beyond Stephanie's property. Yeah, it's it's not, if those property owners want to come to us, and want to come we'll to us. Come, we'll take them just the same way we do everybody else. Yep. So yep. Tyler can just say that too, if anybody. Does, you need to go to the select boards. Yeah. Right. He doesn't have to, that's not his fight. Right. But they're yeah. telling him not to mow. So well, I get it. Well, they're going to get aggravated. They're yeah, no, he shouldn't, he shouldn't if confront. He shouldn't if he gets in a situation like that, he needs. No, obviously, he's going to. He, he, he no, no, but. He's proven that. He's not going to. Yeah, no, yeah. I know that. I know that. So that that's that's between you and the select board and what you're doing right now. You could just. Yeah. But you could ask, you could tell. Charlotte and Kathy know full well they should contact you. And if there's an issue, that they need to come to the board. Yep. They've been around long enough and know about process. This should not be something new to them. 
that there's right. a process and they need to come to the board. And, and, and your guy isn't going to mow it behind their backs while they come to the right. board. Right. Right. No, no, yeah. no right. But Assuming they do it in a timely well, way. Right. In the meantime, I mean, I'm going to mow it. You're telling me right now to go mow it until uh, they come and get permission from you. Not the right. Way. Uh, I don't think you should do that. It's going to create a fight. They've given us notice they got a problem. I'm, we we don't like this, and we should express that. But right. Well, I I mean I think you're saying well, you're saying to to mow after Stephanie's house on Jack Hill. Right. So, Stephanie can't say don't mow this whole yeah, road. Yeah, somebody else's property. Right. And no one should be able to say that. Peter came. We had a whole process. Right. He got permission from all the landowners. So are we saying all these people are jumping on the, that bandwagon? So yeah. are we well, saying it's a different bandwagon? We can let them know that. So are I mean, we, if you want, to, go ahead. So, so are we saying now then that the road crew is going to mow the milkweed except for where it is in location to Kashansky Bassage? Well, we need them to come to us. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should put it by next meeting, or it's going to be mowed. <laughs> you know, and they need I to explain to us, and we need to approve it. I, well, I mean, it seems like for that particular road, either the select board needs to reach out to them, or mm -hmm. they need to reach out to the select board and say, and, yeah. and so I can have some direction as That's to what, what whether to do. I can mow or not mow. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't. I just can't have every citizen telling me I can't mow. Right, right. no. Especially no. telling me I can't mow the whole road. I mean, that, right. that situation on Jack Hill, okay, I should have just went and did it. I know yeah. what it is. Yeah. But that's what I, I stopped mowing. Right, okay. So when I we, was told we got, not to mow it, I didn't mow it. Okay, and now so it's now. All closed in. Okay, yeah. so now we've told you to mow the road except for by Stephanie and Randy's house, Stephanie Kaplan's house. Their property. House, their property. And now we're saying that. If there's folks on Peck Hill Road that don't want the milkweed mowed, they need to come and make the request to the select board so that it's our decision based and that's on... that's in front of their property, again, right. the same rule as Jack Hill. So for now, I think Alfred's question is, does he mow the rest of the road that isn't their property? Yes. Okay, so you got your answer. Right. So Charlotte owns a fair amount of that road frontage. Mm -hmm. So I'll stay off of her side. Yeah. Right. Right. All right. Mean, Peck Hill is low traffic. It's I was going to say there's yeah, not a lot of traffic. Big a deal, but Jack right. Hill yeah. is totally opposite. There's okay. So we're done. Traffic. But we're done talking about Jack Hill. I want to try to get to what we're going to do about this. Do we? Is, am I going to reach out to them and say you need to come to the board, or is Alfred going to reach out? And say, Alfred can reach out to them. Okay. So why don't you reach out to them? The board would like for them to attend the next select board meeting. You can put them on the agenda. And it's on. It would be the 13th. Is this something where it's a personal preference kind of thing? I mean, when we ask them to come, so, how do we decide? So you know, this is kind of skin I mean, in the pants because, you know, the, the history in Vermont is, and I think it's still the law, that property owners are actually responsible to maintain their road frontage, mow it, and no one does anymore because no one's a farmer and no one has tractors, so they don't, so they let it all grow up and go to hell, and it becomes a problem in terms of the road clearance yeah, right. and setbacks and the encroachment and damage to vehicles and all that. So Alfred's job is to basically do their work. And so what's going on is the all across the state, folks aren't mowing their roadsides, their piece, their responsibility. Towns are doing it, and then they're asking that it not be mowed, but they're not in trade saying, well, I'll mow it. I, I mow mine, you know, because that's the trade. I don't want seeds spread all over them. I, I don't want to fight weeds, but invasives. But um, if you don't have the ability to do that, they need to come up with some plan. They're not going to mow. You know, if Doug Lilly has hay, hay fields right to the road. They don't have to mow that because the hay field is right to the road. But Where he doesn't mow, then we mow it. But do we like, look, in other words, let's say that someone on Jack Hill comes to us. I don't want to prolong this too much. I just want to get an idea. Too I'm just trying to educate myself here. <laughs> let's say he comes. To, shall I stop? Well, I just want, in the essence of time. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll I can, deal with you know, this we later. Can, off, call me. Yeah, yeah off, I will. Off I, don't, I don't have to do it in a meeting. Yeah, okay. yeah. or after the meeting. Yeah, okay. All right. 
Yeah. Everybody good? Yep. Yeah. Sorry. Thanks. He always leaves sad. Comes in happy and <laughs> leaves sad. Well, you can't leave too sad. We, we <laughs> applauded Ed and said we'd work to do what we can to help and all that. There you go. So leave on a good note. Yeah. Well, right. it's just it's difficult when I've got 1,500 bosses. Yeah, no, Ultimately, I don't I hear you. You know. guys are my boss. Right. And so when somebody, something like that, I don't know what to do. Yep. Right. So no. yep. I need direction from yep. you guys. Can right. I tell these people? You know, it's got to be yep. known, it's our right away, mm -hmm. which is what I would like to say. It's our right away, we need to mow it. Or, 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 or do, you, do you plan to mow it? Are you going to maintain it? Right. And now you know. This you is what, and us. if you are, maybe we should come up with a spec sheet. Right. Okay? If you want to be responsible, this is our spec. This is what we expect. And this is where you can defer it, contact the select board yeah, with your request. The, we can be the thing, right? <clears throat> okay? Can we move on? Yes. Yeah. All right. Town Highway 7. Um, I'm looking at the process paperwork stuff for that. Um, I emailed with Gary Schultz. I think you were on the email chain, John. Yeah. Um, we're looking at Saturday, October 5th for a site visit. And I've got to, no, I'm sorry, October. Second, this is 21. This calendar is 21, right? God, I gotta make sure I got the right year. Yeah. 21. So October. Nine o'clock. Uh, home for select board. Yeah, October 2nd. 9 a.m. Right. Right. So, so I wanted a clarification. You sent an email asking the Schultzes to give you names of the joiners. Well, I know that, I asked that, them, but I know right. we need to do double check. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's really we could ask Jeremy to do that. Right. That's what confirm. I figured. I just yeah. wanted to see what list they came up. Yeah. With. Yeah. Okay. You got it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Just making yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. No. Got it. It's our hearing. Right. It's our meeting. Um, so anyways, I'm looking at the process for that. I think I think it's pretty straightforward. But if I have any questions, yep. I'll reach out to you. We we'll walk one end of it to the other. Right. As far as we know. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. that's it on that. Um, MOU. This is with John. I mean, uh, Rick and Sharon and I attended the East Montpelier Fire Department joint meeting with the East Montpelier Select Board. Right. And it went okay, mostly. Good. There was some moments, but there always are when you're dealing with that. So anyways, we came up with, um, Bruce Johnson um, drafted it, and I think you guys, yeah. in the folder, everybody's just seen it, right? Yeah, we've seen it, yeah. yeah. Okay, so what we really just need to do is to make a motion to approve the MOU um, and everybody sign it, and I'll get it back to okay. Bruce. So would there like yep. to be a motion? That I'll up. make that motion to extend the contract. What's the date to um, It is through, to provide additional time to complete negotiations, all parties agreed to extend the existing contract through December 1, 2021. So I'll make that motion to extend through December 2021. As per as per the MOU. As per the MOU. Right. Um, there, so Mark seconded. Mark seconded. Okay. All those in favor, please aye. say aye. 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 Okay. You input, you just get the second. Just tell me, man. <laughs> I follow instructions. Um, yes, sir. 823. Are you just watching? He's um, he's an ancient road guy. When, when, uh, oh, okay. So you heard the discussion. Saturday, October second. Second, I think. Yeah, yeah. nine a.m. Probably nine a.m. I'll, but it'll be posted. Okay. Next up. Don't keep giving giving away my pen. <laughs> I already, I've already got, got, got other one. Pen. I already got my other one over there. Um, I can't talk about it. I have a pen in my hand. Hey, Denise, got a pen? <laughs> no, I don't. Um, hybrid meeting process. So Katie, put to, Katie and I talked briefly after the last select board meeting when we had the Zoom stuff. Katie Lane Carnes. Katie Lane Carnes. Okay. The wonderful person that she is. Um, because it was really, really challenging, that meeting. It was like probably one of the worst 
Zoom challenging Which meetings. one was? The last meeting that we had on of the Of our night. select board? Right. Okay. I mean, there was people on the Zoom that were up walking around, getting into cupboards, eating their dinner, and it was just, it was really obnoxious. Barbara Butler said she was getting vertigo from watching the people <laughs> bounce up and down, up and down on these meetings, and it happens a lot. Mm -hmm. But last meeting was especially brought it to light. Yeah. So Katie talked, Katie talked to me and she said, how about if I put together a list of the challenges, of the duties, what could we make improvements? I talked to Cliff briefly, you were here, um, when he was trying to set up our Zoom for tonight. And he was talking about doing what we did for town meeting where we had a webinar. And that way the host can mute, yeah. take you off of the um, picture. So anyways, he offered to work with Katie on the document that she sent us, that email she sent yeah. with all of the challenges and come up with some ideas and report Great. back. Great. So okay. I well, I can tell you one is the, the primary issue is the acoustics in here. Right. There's there's no, every surface is hard. We have, no, we have this nice little rug, that's a start on that rug, but you know, maybe we should invest in some rugs here, guys. They're not that expensive. No. I was just at, I don't know, to have Bed Bath and Beyond or someplace. They're oh, cheap. Are you going there? I was at one of those. I tried to get my husband to go. Places, on. something like that. One of those. You must have got dragged in. Anyway, <laughs> there was I don't know what the place was, but we have, um, they well, have rugs. You know, big throw rugs. They're, they're pretty. It would be nice if and they, they matched. Ma they match. These are pretty too, but at least we can <laughs> dampen the. That would be a good start, and if we could get something to hang on, even if it's a rug over there and a rug Somebody there, Somebody offered to reduce it. Well, no, some I... of those room dividers, you could close off a portion of this, depending on the size of the meeting, mm -hmm. but if you've got a small meeting, you could just close off half of this, or... Still needs to be a soft surface. No, the room, room dividers, dividers are. Oh, 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 they are. They <laughs> fold out, and they're soft, pushed in, oh, okay. sound. Yeah, well, that would work. That's like a cubicles, thought. Like in the offices where yeah. they Well, we have... A, the, a king size quilt that I won in a raffle. That's oh yeah, was it? It's it was it's handmade. It's already better with the rugs. Yeah, yeah and if we right. put a king size quilt on that wall and something on well Barbara's this wall and this right. Wall. Well Barbara's looking how those guys are looking at how you mount it so it doesn't get stretched out. Mm -hmm. You know, over the, over the over the years of hanging I on the wall. Make, I'm glad to make a cherry quilt. Well, well then. Check in, just, with, check in with Barbara. She's got okay, it. Just, I'm, I'm done with the quilt now. It's in their hands to mount and hang up. Okay. I want it. They got it. <laughs> <laughs> so I am, there's one thing that on Zoom, you can, under Zoom, you can have a meeting. The person who convenes the meeting can mute everybody. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, we just got to work on I think it's good that Katie put her thoughts together because it's, you know, there's a lot of moving pieces. If we did a webinar, it would be easier to control and manage the documents that you're trying to put up on the screen. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, mm -hmm. whatever. I think it's a great yeah. idea. So I think we just, they, they, yeah, are, they volunteered, good. so awesome. I'm works. not about to turn down yep. the volunteer. All right. All right. Um, Oh God, we have so many minutes to approve and we can't call them up. Well, next meeting. Yeah, I you know what we could do. If we have, do we have a lot of minutes? Oh, we have a ton. Well, why don't you put them all on as one agenda item on a consent agenda? Minutes consent agenda. Yeah. Then, what happens is, and you can move it all at once. It's all moved at once, but then you ask. Does anyone want to pull one of these off the consent agenda? Mm -hmm. So if somebody reads the minutes and says, hey, it's not accurate, it matters to me enough, they pull it off and mm -hmm. it's a separate, separated. But unless they do, it's just one item, one right. motion, and it's done. Yeah. Well, Sharon and I have both reviewed all of those minutes okay. and made yeah. changes and, and made right. changes. Let's do it. So we could actually just put work. them on the, as one consent Okay, agenda. we can't do that tonight because we no. weren't that way. Right. So. Okay. I didn't see, I was going through it too. I went through, I didn't see how that's I really wanted to make, but yeah. she, you guys might have seen something. Yeah, she and I, I think, pay more attention to the detail of the minutes. 
And I just took and incorporated some of her changes right. that were there into the minutes. Because I thought maybe we could get through the whole shebang tonight. See my list? That's all of them. There's yeah. like eight of them. Good. Yeah, we'll just put them on one consent agenda. Yeah. Okay. Um, the mm -hmm. other thing is I wanted to go into executive session for a few minutes. And because we're not doing Zoom, we might be out here by 9. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank, thank, thank you, Reed. I'll try to remember to email you the notice. I'll try to remember to specifically email you the notice. So I, I knew we go into executive session for personnel. After which, personnel second. After which we will not. We will end the meeting. Yeah, we'll right. come back out and adjourn the meeting. Adjourn the meeting. Yeah.